All right, all right, okay, all right, okay. What's up, buddies? Welcome back to the final episode of the Poor Man Road to Glory. No, don't worry. Well, don't worry. There, only about five of you guys would even be worried if this series ended. But anyways, uh, it's not ending. It's just the final day before I go off on vacation. I've surprised the family with a vacation away for the first time. I, I did say in five years. That's not accurate. First time in four years. Uh, four years ago, just as COVID blew up, I decided to surprise the family and go to Disneyland. And as we were on our flight back to Disneyland, March of 2020, the entire world was ending. And we genuinely thought it was like contagion. There's people coughing on the plane on the way back. News was going nuts. We actually thought that it was, we were just going to arrive in Vancouver and it'd be riots. So anyways, since then, we kind of avoided traveling um, because people are awful in airports. I don't know why all of a sudden everybody sucks. But nevertheless, I... At least through my youth, uh, whenever I remember traveling, I remember it fondly of going to the airport and being happy and kind of being excited because like everyone was going somewhere cool. Something changed in the last five years where now the airport is just chaos of people like and their unhinged mental state kind of abuse others. So I'm hoping the experience tomorrow is a little bit different and more along the lines of a bit of positivity. Here's hoping that is the case. Um, as always, I'm not really revealing where we're going. You guys do know I've kind of joked about the different places I'm going. It is going to be somewhere nice and hot. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll fill you guys in once we get back. I'll, I'll document some of it. Um, you know, Ethan wants to play soccer on the beach and stuff like that and do some some tricks and skills and, and, and whatnot while we're lounging in uh, various cabanas and, and, and whatever else. Um, so I'll fill you guys in there. But nevertheless, for today's grind, it's going to be a little bit longer than normal. I will have to see. Depending on what 6 p.m. content is in an hour and a half. So if you are here for 6 p.m. content, well, and this is something that you want to fast forward through if you're watching through the uh, finished live stream, then fast forward an hour and a half and you'll get to 6 p.m. content. I'm assuming this might be made into an edited video, so what's up to the people watching the edited form of this? And to all the Twitch viewers that are watching this live every day and watching me lose my mind every day, I love you guys. I appreciate you, and let's get on the grind. So, we've got quite a bit of gameplay planned. <laughs> planned being the operative word. I, I, I am, as always, excited uh, about the idea of playing this game on stream so i do want to finish up a lot of the 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 grind and start a new couple of players there's a few people on youtube that gave me a great idea for the evo so i want to talk to you guys about that because i was going to go a route with one of the paid evos that now i think i might go a different route so i'm going to show you guys that if it's possible i'm going to show you guys that in uh in a second actually now that i think about it i don't know if i'll be able to make um mateo joseph the Evo that I want to make them, but I'm going to have a look nevertheless. So the Fantasy Cup is finally done before expiring. So glad we got that grind out of the way. We got an ultimate pack, an 85 by 3, an 84 by 20, an 85 by 10, uh, premium gold player pack. We got some good stuff there, which is exciting. The daily grind obviously being finished. So we got some more packs ready to roll. And then uh, the daily play completionist, we've got one more to get that done. Maybe we'll get that done before I go. So the idea is to get the uh five final champs games done late tonight before i travel so that we can get i'll show you guys if i can remember right here so we could just get this red uh this red pick out of the way and then the idea as well is i'm going to give it to schneider so that's going to be the hope um that's going to be my grind fingers crossed i i don't lose my mind um and f and forget to do this and i do need to make sure i apply the red evo to schneids because uh it will be expired by the time i get back right i'll be gone for eight days and i think this 50 win evo has anybody anybody complete has anyone gone 50 wins in the first four weeks or three weeks or whatever i'm sure i'm sure there are people that have gone uh and and i think this expires this weekend or something like that so got to make sure we get that done otherwise um also maybe we should probably oh should i do this today six wins with a minimum of three Bundesliga players in our squad to get Adley done. I mean, another player maybe for... Uh, I'm sure this guy will get a plus th uh, at least a plus three. Another player for SBC content while we're doing other things. Ah, we'll figure that one out too. Oh, did he already get an upgrade? So what has he got a max two or three more upgrades? So he can go to a 91? I mean, I feel like guaranteed the way Leverkusen are cooking, this guy's going to get at least a 90 rated, right? 
feel like that might be worthwhile considering it's just six wins with three Bundesliga players. I'll remind me to look at that as well. So that's going to be part of the process. We've got a lot of uh, packs and, and, and SBCs and things ready to go. Today's my final day to try and get that Wesley Schneider, which again, I'm not totally upset about missing out on. I love my 90 Schneider so much. I really, really do. So let's uh, let's see what our main squad. This is kind of what we're, we're grinding towards, just getting other objectives done all at the same time. But um, did I just... Oh yeah, that's what you used to do. You used to go L2 and, and go to squad selector. Let's show you guys where we stand here. So we're working on Willy. We did just pack um, this Koi Visto card, who's actually pretty decent, honestly. So how can I make this work? I have one, two, three, four. So I could maybe go Bundesliga here and maybe just go with a Bundesliga right back, huh? That's an idea. Um, I actually did this Pacho, used this Pacho, and he wasn't great. Why don't we try him again? We'll go with Pacho, and then we're going to have to go with the Bundesliga right back, too. I guess that's going to be Kimmy. I have literally no one else. Interesting. Okay. That's kind of a, that's kind of a cool little team. I like it. He's got a shadow, too. 98 acceleration. It's that sprint speed that's going to rock me out, though. 84 sprint speed. I wonder how Kimmy would play it right back. Okay. All right. These will be... Uh, this will be the setup that we use in the champs team. So I got one win needed. I still need three wins? Dude, we got that win. Two wins yesterday, and I forgot to freaking make Nanto the active player. No shot. I got an assist in two wins yesterday with him, and I forgot to make him freaking active, man. I am such an idiot. Oh my god. He's so bad right now to use as well. No way. No way I did that. No way I did that, man. Oh my god. Anyways, let's bring the uh, the alerts back and stuff. You don't know why, bro? Because that's three human beings that were hey, watching you stream, bro. That's amazing. Well done. For democracy, Gibbo, tonight, me and Nep take on hey, the man. bugs. Um, Liam, thank you for the eight months. RBXRR, thank you for the 35 months. And New Owen, thank you for the 42. Hey, Imagine going on VK instead of WL Kappa. At least you'll be somewhere nice, which will help your mood when you lose tomorrow night to the Wednesday smile. Don't you dare say that, bro. Come on, man. I'm going to be on some beach somewhere watching uh, Leeds play. I am going to be on a beach somewhere watching Leeds play. I'm excited. Um, what's up, Sneaky? What's up, dude? How long will be gone for? Uh, eight days. You might actually get up to the same level as me in that time. Don't forget to share some beach views. So what I'm going to do is I'm going radio silent on vacation. I'm, I'm not really revealing where I'm going. I mean, look, it, it's going to be like Mexico or Hawaii or the Bahamas or Lebanon or Spain or Portugal. Or, it's going to be somewhere hot, right? Um, I'm not going to go to Leeds, right? That's uh, Unfortunately, as much as I would want. I'm not going to go to the... E I'm not going to go to freaking Toronto or New York or anything. Or Alaska, yeah. Um, but I'm going to go radio silent. I'm going to try and stay offline. This will be the first time ever. I've already mentioned this a few times. But this will be my first time ever in 11 years of being on Twitch. Where I don't stream while I'm away on vacation. Because I'm too scared to lose viewers and subs and whatever. I'm just going to completely disconnect for a week. For the first time in my career on Twitch. In over a decade. And we'll see, man. If we get five viewers, you know, if we lose. I mean, we still got 3,100 subs, man. Thanks to all of you guys subbing and gifting subs and whatever. Dude, I take a day off and lose 500 subs. So if I come back and 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 we're down to 1,000 subs, you know what? God bless those 1,000. However many we have, I'm grateful for it. And I kind of got to be able to allow myself to just remove from the, the fear of, like, losing my career. You know what I'm saying? It's been 11 years of me never being willing to kind of disconnect from the stream and stuff like that for fear of losing everything, right? I have that imposter syndrome where I'm like, dude, I don't even deserve to be here. How have I been streaming for 11 years successfully? How have I done that? So I feel like any time I take time away, it uh, just, it'll all be thrown away. I'm just gonna, like a band-aid, 
go enjoy some time with the family and whatever we come back to however many of you guys are here i will be grateful for i'll be very very uh very grateful so having said that i'm not going to um post anything while i'm live or stream while i'm live Nick, do you have any hope for FC25 and EA listening to the complaints slash action yes, I do. gameplay, delays, broken tactics, etc.? I want to have hope that the last few games haven't given me much ha-ha. You gotta listen to Bowie's space oddity when flying. It hits different for real. Much love. We'll be here when you get back, brother. Thanks, Nikki. Appreciate hey, the uh, 255 Four bits, man. Tour. And the, the support these last few weeks. Uh, Kahlo, thank you for the four. Appreciate that as well, man. <clears throat> uh, so I was going to make a point and I kind of forgot. Oh, yeah. So I, I have high hopes for FC25, brother. I, I've been doing this. I've been playing Ultimate Team since the day they created it in 2009. I love this game. I love this game mode. And I always have hope for EA making right all the dumb stuff they've done. I always have those high hopes. Um, and that's probably a flaw of mine, right? I'm endlessly an optimist and, 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 and hopeful because I do enjoy this game. Yes, this game is a major part of my financial income and security, um, of course. And that's another reason why I would want it to do well, obviously. I'm a business person in, in a way, so of course I want my, my income to stay at the highest it possibly can. And it's the highest it possibly can when people care about this game. That's just the truth. But also, I enjoy playing this game, so of course I want to be an infinite optimist. 100%. Did you see Golden Glow up Ronaldo Vieira used to play for Leeds? I mean, I didn't see that, but I, I, I'm well aware Ronaldo Vieira used to play for Leeds, bro. He sent me his kit and a, um, um, and then David Myler got the whole team to sign me a full uh, Leeds kit and sent it to me for Ethan. So I've got a game-worn Ronaldo Vieira jersey uh, upstairs. And we follow each other on Twitter still, even though he's in Italy. No, not on Instagram. He follows me on uh, on Twitter. Which, I mean, is a weird flex, I suppose, considering I don't think he's used Twitter in two years, but... But no, you know what? Having said that, I have not seen his uh, Golden Glow Up. I, I, I'm always will wanting to do Golden Glow Ups, though, only of players that have dynamic images, if they're past Leeds players. If I'm going to do a Evo on a base player, I want it to be an actual Leeds player, if that makes sense. So I, I I haven't done I haven't built an Ilya uh, Grev card yet. So I, I want to build one of his cards. I think that's what I'm going to spend the 100k on. How is David Myler doing? You know what? I, I reached out to him a few times. I kind of commented on a few of his Instagram posts, and I haven't really heard anything back. So I I, I would assume he's okay. I... Dude's living life, hey, right? Love the content, Nick. Happy holiday. Uh, thank you, Stefan. Appreciate the 17 months. Much love. God bless. Got the promoted team signed shirt. I mean, that's pretty awesome, dude. That is pretty awesome. Yeah, the old school times, man. The absolute old school times of all that. Uh, do we need the schedule announcement, guys? Do we need the schedule announcement? I'm just looking at kind of the, the chat and the, the way the announcements are posted. And I, I'm thinking of minute. Wow. 2K. I'm thinking of minimizing some of it. I feel like the chat kind of gets smacked pretty heavily by Mubot. Maybe, maybe certain things like that. Uh, I don't have them pop up automatically. And just when someone asks, they can be pulled up. Similar to spoilers. Like... When someone does something dumb, they can get timed out and then a mod can put like exclamation mark spoiler in the chat for it to come up. Right? I think a lot of the Moobot announcements I can start toning down and then just have the mods have control of pulling up the, uh, the command for it when they need to. Okay, that'll, that'll be something I look to do. Kevin, thank you, man. Appreciate the uh, the 250 
channel point redemption Amen. for a free gifted that immediately gets <laughs> gifted before I'm done my sentence by red hair. Thank you, red hair. Fuck off! You oh, Jesus you Lord, have mercy. Oh, God. Canadians. Good God. Before getting the epi demonetized. <laughs> Five minutes in. Holy. Guy, can I comment quickly on Pi? I've been noticing, and I mean, I know all Twitch FIFA content creators get hate from the wider f football Twitter community, Reddit football community, the Reddit FIFA community. They all hate us, right? They all hate us. I think the only person that isn't hated on football Twitter and like Reddit FIFA and football is probably Zway and Run the Fun Market. I think they hate, and maybe Boras. I think everybody else they hate. So take what I say with a grain of salt, but I, I because I, I get hate every day too. But dude, I've been noticing so much infinite hate for Pie Face, man. Like I was, I was watching these videos of people like secretly filming him at football games, like laughing at him, yelling at players, and cheering them on and stuff. Like brothers, what are we doing? There's so much hate in the world where people are throwing shade at Pie Face, who still to this day goes up and down the country following Plymouth, following his club. He goes up and down the country. He could travel any way he wants. He still travels with his friends via car, bus, whatever. Wakes up at ungodly hours to follow his team. Like, why are people so negative? What What is he doing wrong? I, if anything, isn't that what you want a football fan to be? To be? Isn't Isn't that what you want football fans to be? Like English football Twitter fans are such weirdos. You're throwing shade at a guy that is, I mean, in my opinion, probably the best type of a fan, the best version of a fan. I don't know. Maybe I'm not looking at it the right way, but I, I think that the, the hate pie gets is so unjustified, man. The guy's just living his life, supporting his club through and through. Ridiculous. Ridiculous the hate he gets. Completely unfounded. Chat abuse towards him in streams is unreal. You know, we all get that though. I will say that. Uh, I think the difference is very regularly, Pi and Zway are a lot more uh, accepting of people just constantly, or maybe their mods are a lot more accepting of people constantly abusing. I don't know if that's a fear of losing those viewers so they don't get timed out or banned. For me, whenever someone starts writing horrible stuff like that, you know that, I call them out, I call them a, a moron, I review their chat history and then they get banned, right? Whereas I think Zway and Pi, and maybe that's been a good move for them through the years because it keeps building a, a, a busier chat and stuff like that. But um, I just, I'd rather have a dead chat than a chat that's filled with people just spamming infinite abuse. I, I don't know. I just sometimes think some of the FIFA content creators are almost too nice to the abusers. Uh, okay, so Patrick and Juan Jesus. Do we want to do some peepees here, guys? I mean, these regular packs aren't really hitting right now. Why don't we do some? Uh, why don't we do a few peepees with these dupes? Uh, so we're gonna go here. Let me try something new. I'm gonna go gold and then newest and see if that gets rid of everything. I can't understand hurling abuse. People are weirdos, man. People are weirdos. People are weirdos. Patrick and Juan Jesus. Yikes. Well, I got that wrong. What the heck? What just happened there? You can skip that? No way. You can skip the PP animation? Uh, I'm 38 years old. I've been playing this game for 15 years. I did not know that's a thing. Hold on a sec. No, no, no. I just pulled this away. Oh, God. I just pulled this away, guys. No, that's new for... They just added that in the latest update, right, guys? I'm pretty sure that just got added. Guys, that's... It just got added, right? <laughs> guys? <laughs> yeah, sure. Wait, no. It did just get added, though. It's been there for a few years. I don't believe it. Okay, let's see, let's see. Maybe that was a glitch. Let's try that again. Man, that's not even fun though. 
I mean, it's fast, but that's not fun. That sucks. I wish I didn't discover that. Um. Take my money. Take my money. Take my bank card. I don't know what I've just done here. Got a full day of meetings today, so I won't. Oh be Jesus Christ! The stream later. I'd never verbally abuse you, Nick. Unless you turn on the world-renowned eleven-man press in game N twenty-eight L flu. Next week MLB the show comes out, so I won't be on FIFA anymore. Enjoy the vacation, brother. Live it up. Hey, much hey, love, man. man. I appreciate we'll it, see dude. See you at Disneyland and twenty-eight London. <laughs> Gucci, I don't. I we're, trust me, we're going to a beach. Well, I guess Disneyland ain't too far from beaches, but no, we're not going to Disneyland. I can't be bothered, dude. Not that I don't want to go. I like I don't love taking the kids to Disneyland, Amen. but that is not my idea of a vacation, really. Twenty, using my tiny team with an average height of just under five FT three. Watch you go nineteen and one, polar bear. Watch you go nineteen and one, man. I could see that. Do 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 do. do. I go to Disneyland once a week with my girlfriend. What? For real? Why? I mean, I guess it's a magical, beautiful place to go. But as adults, you go or do you take your kids? Take my money. Take my money. Take my bank card. Enjoy your vacation batch. I mean, I, I, I lucky kids, I suppose. Twitch, maybe you can post some sexy photos on Instagram. Wink, wink, kappa, kappa. Enjoy the sand in your butt crack. <laughs> I uh I will I will look forward I will very much look forward to sand in my butt crack. I very much will, dude. I uh I'm I, I tonight I have a very long drawn out process ahead of me. As anyone that's Lebanese and knows, maybe Dutch cuz apparently Dutch people are super hairy too. So I got a combo of Lebanese and Dutch blood. Anyhow, I've got a very long um uh trimming job to do today. The chest, I'm gonna have to hack down the, uh, the, 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 the chest, the old chesticles, dude. Can't be walking around looking like a bear out there. So I got that tonight. I'm gonna shave clean tonight so I don't need to bring a, uh, a razor with me on vacation. I'll just let the beard grow for a week. How many subs for Sandy Feet Picks? Uh, 10,000. 10,000, dude. But I do have, I, I bought myself and my father-in-law. I'm taking my in-laws uh, uh, on vacation as well because they do so much for us. And I really want to treat them to a nice vacation. So uh, they're, they're coming with us to, to hang out and, and party and, and chill out and whatnot. And um, I, I made sure my my uh, my father-in-law got short shorts as well. Me and him are going to be strutting around the beaches in short shorts, tanning our upper thighs. I'm very excited about it. Um... Think of, uh, do you know, do you know, you guys know Boss Man, right? You know how amazing he is, right? So, I mean, I, the least we could do is treat him to a nice uh, family vacation. So, anyways, you guys know the Boss Man, right? For anybody that doesn't know the Boss Man, think of, uh, you know that Instagram family called, like, the McFarlands or whatever, where they do those, like, dad jokes and it's always, like, uh, dad memes and, and, and whatnot? That's basically my father-in-law. He's that dad, like, but in real life. And everybody loves him. So, nevertheless... I, I'm I'm very excited to be strutting my stuff down the beach with uh, with the boss man. I'm really hyped up. We'll get some uh, we'll get some solid family picks with the boss man out there. Ooh, Hajer Berger to the exchange. There we go. That's my own version of Neps to the exchange. What do you guys think? Who does it better, guys? The Originator or Mickey Mouse 28T? I think I like mine. There's a bit more passion in it. Let's go, baby. The greatest thing that's ever been added. Hey, Nep! Come on! This is my chat. Where's the loyalty, man? You should, the answer should always be the content creator you're watching so their ego can be inflated. I love how my chat does the opposite of what you'd expect any other Twitch chat to do. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, Nick just asked his chat something up to, 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 to help him out a little bit. Immediately, the chat says the opposite of whatever he says. <laughs> nice. Who does it better? Amaranth does the exchange better? What? No way she's streaming Ultimate Team now. Bro, that would break the internet. Where are the... Oh, here we are. Hey, 
83 is our discard. We wish you were Nep. Well, tonight you will see me reviving Nep over and over again. Although, to be fair, I can't even take shots at Nep because I think he revived me more yesterday than anything. Bro, can anyone tell me why we went into Helldivers like the hardest difficulty within two or three raids? What the heck, man? What was that experience yesterday, dude? We got nothing. We played for the final two hours of our evening. We achieved nothing. <laughs> We genuinely achieved absolutely nothing, bro. We just died a million times. Disgraceful, uh, what was the, what were the mission stats? Disgraceful deployment or something like that? <laughs> uh. Dude, we were getting, uh, that just isn't fair. Whatever we were experiencing last night was not fair or fun. Wait, this isn't Nepenthes. I wasted 19 months of subscriptions. You did, Smitty, much love, bro. It's all part of the learning curve and fun. What is fun about not even being able to throw out your beacons or whatever to get resupplies or for airstrikes? Bro, what is this like arrow crap? What is that? Can we give up with that stupidity? Arrow dumbness? By the way, was Net playing on controller? I think I'm gonna try controller tonight. The whole keyboard and mouse experience was horrific. I, I'm just gonna say that. Trying to call in airstrikes with, a, with my keyboard and mouse was melting my brain. I couldn't do it. Hey, man. I couldn't do it. I, I don't know why I was putting myself through that, honestly. Drain cover bolts in the pit lane? What the heck? Really? That's weird. Yeah, I might uh, I might test controller controller today. Midnight, are you on uh, are you on keyboard and mouse? I like the idea of keyboard and mouse because I can actually kill the bugs with precision, which is nice. Obviously, the controller is a bit more spammy, which I'm not a fan of, but I, I feel like the calling in of air support and whatnot would be much easier. Can't you get Zway on it too, or is he too busy? I did the same thing. I mean, I, I quote tweeted Zway, Nep, and Tobias. Nep was the only one that even replied. I, I have asked Zway quite a few times if he wants to game, and I, I basically get blanked. <laughs> I basically just... And it's not that Zway's blanking, I'm sure. I, I just think Zway's got his own stuff going on. Maybe he doesn't have the heart to say, hey, I don't want to play with you and Nep anymore, dude. He's too nice. I think he's enjoying um, sending crosses on FC24. Zway's focused on his DJ career. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, you guys can ask him. Send out the uh, the beacon of hope for the Band of Brothers yourselves in tonight's stream. Just hit him up and be like, yo, man, why, why, aren't, you, why aren't you playing freaking Helldivers 2 with Nep and, uh, and Nick? You'll love it. It's the, it's, Helldivers 2 is like the perfect game for Zway too. Just enough chaos, but very easy to basically pick up and start playing. It would be the perfect game for the Band of Bros. Especially with team killing. The amount of times Nep will kill Zway will make me so excited. I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm foaming at the mouth at that thought process. Can I zwit, hit Zway over the head with a pan again? No, but I can rocket. I can launch a rocket at his head. Oh! Luca! What a weird end to Modric's career, huh? Now just being barely a, a, an impact sub for Ancelotti, and then Ancelotti constantly saying in press conferences he feels bad about not Luke using Modric. Like, what is even going What is even going on there, even? Let's go. Dude, the exchange man's going to be getting filled up. 
be this bad this year during team of the season everyone will be sick of it i don't know man i i'm i'm hopeful that team of the season every year team of the season gives me a gives me a new excitement for the game because we start a new road to glory so I, i'm hoping and the last what three four five years the most fun we've had is during team of the season so honestly i kind of hope that it is fun again because usually ea um gives us a pretty good time Team of the season, I have a lot of hope for team of the season, man. Maybe red picks, we get red picks back. Maybe we get events. Okay. Pascaro. To the exchange! Ugh. I strained my voice there. I need to calm down. Thanks, Ramu. I'm really looking forward to uh grabbing a book as well. A good book. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do the thing you probably should never do is buy a book at the airport. That is what I'm gonna. Is she 88 or 87 rated? I don't remember. Yeah, I mean, exactly. I think we're gonna get Euros content during Team of the Season as well, which is gonna be pretty hype. It's just all whether or not EA does good with the content, really. Three playstyle pluses. Yeah. Yeah. We'll definitely get three playstyle pluses. And still barely be able to get more than one playstyle plus on my 85 rated uh, Nanto, which is going to be just so annoying. Ever thought about a Kindle? My sister-in-law has been trying to convince me to get a Kindle. I am old and a nerd, and I love books. And she also loved books, but she's made the switch over the last year or two to Kindle, and she loves it. But I just love the concept of books. One of my one of my dreams in building my man cave is i want a an old library section of it like a smoking section i don't smoke but like a, a imagine a cozy fire with four walls of books to the ceiling all with gold and green and brown colors the way my opa used to have his office and a one or two chairs where i have a pipe that i never because i don't smoke but nevertheless and then books i i just Dude, give me that room and I probably wouldn't have to go out ever. Give me that room, a, a, a room with a gym in it, a room with my garage and my cars in it, another room maybe with the streaming setup for the four people that might be watching me at that point in my life. And that's, I'm, 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 I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. Maybe I'll read chat some late night books. I don't know. That's just kind of the way my brain works. So that whole idea of the Kindle is its just, it's too much tech, man. I just, I want hardcover books. Like if the world ends knowing that I'd still have all the entertainment I would ever need, if we lose power and whatnot, I, I, I could still read by candlelight and get just as much entertainment as, as I would if I had my phone and I was watching Drive to Survive or something like that. I don't know, man. I know, I know that's so weird. But that's just the way my brain works. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying that's... Dude, and I love the idea of organizing everything, like, alphabetically as the years go on and reorganizing it. And, oh, man. There's this one guy on YouTube. Uh, I've showed you guys a few videos over the last couple of weeks of him. And he's basically reminds me of my opa. Although my opa had a Dutch accent, this guy has an English accent. God, what's his name? I need to. I now. Now I just have to show you guys. Um, I'm sure he'll come up in my recommended. Give me one second here. Uh, if I go to, guaranteed he'll be on like the first page. See if I scroll and find them. And the recommendants half the time are just don't do it. You frauds, where is he? I can't I just can't remember his name off the top of my head. He basically reads poems in his library and books and, and he smokes a pipe and reads like a, a passage of Lord of the Rings. I, I love him so much, man. He's what I want to be when I'm older, basically. There's no way he's not showing up in the recommendeds. What? 
it's a lot of hockey content though, which is even like I don't want any Maple Leafs content. Why is this in my recommended? Ew. Oh, Gunter Steiner in my recommended. I'm all about that. Hold on, I mean, what if I refresh? Does it refresh the uh, recommended? What is happening, man? Uh, Batman at center back. That's a great clip from uh, from Armalika. He's not, he's genuinely not showing up. What is happening? You know what I will say too? You know how the, how I was talking about like pie face and how everyone gives him abuse and he doesn't deserve. Look, Mark Goldbridge at times deserves a bit of abuse just because he's a bit extra. He's a bit unbearable with Man United. But Mark Goldbridge's footballing takes are better than most ex-footballers. Genuinely. Like I'm, I, we're, I'm noticing a trend and, and I was reading through a couple of topics earlier in the week where people are like, man, all of us, like just football fans and stuff are making better content now than like ex-footballers. It, it, it's like this trend now of ex-footballers like Rio Ferdinand, just putting clickbait content out there. It, endlessly clickbait content where you've got guys like Mark Goldbridge that's actually releasing decent content at times. It's kind of wild. It's like the X players are all famous and multi-millionaires, and yet they're pandering to all the clickbait titles to try and stay relevant and make more money. Whereas it's like guys like Mark Goldbridge that is like releasing decent content. Like it's it's very, very weird. Anyways, I, I was very interested by that. I was wondering maybe if you guys had that same outlook. If you started seeing just X pros constantly baiting and releasing weird takes to get clicks as opposed to just like they're already rich like rio you're already rich why are you making all this clickbait content saying arteta is going to come to man united and and like just doing stuff to try and like um what would you call that uh rattle uh, arsenal fans and it's just such an odd i don't know anyways just uh just me thinking outwardly i suppose this whole point was i wanted to show you guys this uh this 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 dude's channel, but I, I, I don't know. I guess it just ain't gonna happen. See, I want to do something like this. I love this. I invested 10 million rubles into labs. I've never been to labs, but I want to start trying to just run labs and see how it goes. Probably just die to cheaters infinitely or die to chads. But I'm wondering if I can use VoIP to just negotiate survival. I think stuff like that could be really fun. It won't be, but I think it could be. Ooh, I like this. I'm gonna save this. How do you? Hi guys, this is Pestilian. How do I save that? Uh, save. Watch later. There we go. Perfect. Maybe we'll watch that on the plane. Start learning labs. I've kind of figured out streets. Still find streets dumb though. All right, I give up, guys. I, de I, I genuinely wanted to show you guys this dude's cool YouTube channel, but it's just it ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen, boys. I apologize. Sorry about that. I wish I could remember his name. Joey Barton is the worst man is toxic. That guy was a douchebag on the football pitch, too. Where are you off, Nick? Uh, I'm not, I'm not disclosing where we're going, dude. I'm just gonna, uh, disappear for a week or two, and then I'll, I'll talk, well, a week or two, for seven, eight days, and then, uh, when we get back, I'll, I'll kind of fill you guys in, I'll show you guys some vacation photos and whatnot. Okay. Toss Morata into the 84 by 5. Have I seriously not packed a single new good pull yet for gameplay? I mean, we might just have to go play a couple of games, man. Just like yesterday. Weren't really able to hit anything yesterday, were we? Twayze, that's exactly who it is. Malcolm uh, Geit, too. He's, I think he's an old a poet as well. Let me let me just pull it, pull it up, just to give you guys. Guaranteed. Yep. Great shout. This is him. Now, this is the one of the most obscure things ever. This is me going down an infinite rabbit hole. I, one day I was kind of just watching like uh, the lore of Lord of the Rings and like pipe smoking. And my opa used to smoke a pipe. I know it's terrible for you, but like I've got fond memories of this. Um, let me give you guys a, um, a, a little glimpse. This is probably going to get us taken down though, unfortunately. 
I would assume he's going to copyright strike me for this, but I just want to show you guys how amazing he is. He's just fantastic. Here we go. First firing of a new pipe. He's just a lovely, lovely character. Oh, well, if this video gets taken down, whatever. So be it. Oh, come in, come in. This guy reminds me of my come Opa. In. Nice to see you. I'm about to ascend the, uh, the perilous journey up the library steps again. He just reminds me of my Opa so much. I'm, I'm up here. This is my nice edition of the, um, the talking. I just want to, only one that quite hard. Yeah, I am. Um, I've taken the dust sheets off because I found when I've got the, the dust covers on, I can't fit them back in. I rather like Amen. this red as well. Less than three. Much like the ones my parents had. Anyway, I'm. I've got something really exciting to share with you and show you, but I wanted to accompany it with the right bit of reading. So I'm getting down. The Fellowship of the Ring. This guy is a national treasure. Um, if you're British, so this is quite exciting. Or, or me, I guess English. Um, as you know, I, I I love smoking pipes. It's just a relaxing thing. Um, because the nice thing about pipe smoking, when I was a younger man, I smoked cigarettes, and I've given that up. Because of course you inhale those, but pipes you just taste the tobacco. But anyway, I mean, smoking pipes is still terrible for you. Don't get it twisted, guys. Okay, don't don't get it twisted. Like it's still awful. Maybe slightly better, but it's still awful. Nevertheless, um, if you are, I, I would check this guy's channel out, Malcolm. Um, I mean, I don't, I mean, I, I just watch his videos. I guess I could be subscribed too. Why, why not? But um, if you find yourself like in the evenings, you're a bit stressed, you're a bit anxious, whatever. Um, watching this guy's videos where he just lights a pipe speaks eloquently he'll read one of his old poems or one of his friend's poems or he'll read a little bit of tolkien he'll read a little bit of you know whatever the hobbit a passage of the from the hobbit it's it is very very like without having to take drugs or anything horrible like that like there's a lot of things out there like this gentleman which really can help you if you're feeling anxious or feeling overwhelmed you just sit back and kind of let him bring you into his library and kind of read out something lovely he's he's just just fantastic as you know i love pipes and i like um peace and irish pipes particularly and i have quite a few of them but um i've become aware really in the last you know 10 20 years there's been a great i mean pipe smoking has revived and it's revived as a real antidote to the frenetic rush and hyperness of modern society and people just want to be quiet to be still to be measured and it kind of encourages intimacy and conversation and wonderful anyway out of that recovery of pipes, i want to be this guy when i'm older movement of artisan pipe makers so instead of it being you know pipes lots of pipes made together in a factory you get a so basically pipe. someone sent him a custom pipe um i'll show you guys he, and he's so passionate about it watch 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 his description of his pipe you know, we were made by a triune poet and Trinity. Is so, so he said, I'm going to make a three-sided um, shank there. And then he said, I know you like ancient things and, and things that survive. So this is a piece of, you know, surviving, if you like, woolly mammoth tusk that he's obviously got hold of somewhere. How cool is that? He's made this, this ivory part with here. And then he's got the shape of the bowl just as I like it. And... Um, uh, the, it's really lovely the way this curve completely reflects and balances that curve. And that's just to do with the idea of sheer beauty. Okay, so, and I just want to repeat. To me, to me, I think this is important to say. To me, this is what the internet, Twitch, and YouTube is all about. It's, th this is... You know how like we all will very regularly say, oh, the internet sucks and look at the TikTok generation. And if you filter through the garbage and the en endless dopamine spamming and scroll spamming and all the dumb like fight videos and all that, you get to, I'm going to sound like such an old man here, but you get to this like open meadow where you go look and there's a, there's a house with a little bit of smoke billowing out of it and, and you walk in and there's this dude making a video. Come on in. You can sit down and just be at peace and listen to someone. You know how yesterday I was talking about eloquent speech and being proud of being able to speak and enunciate your words properly and, and not just have to say like, um, literally, but, oh, on God. This is the part of YouTube that I, I simply adore. And I, and I, I really think there's a missing beauty 
to this online world that someone like this gentleman, Malcolm, brings to it, in my opinion. Anyway, I thought you might be calling around, so I thought I'd keep it and actually fire it up for the first time while you're here. So, um, but this is is the the one and only artisan pipe that I. Okay, so anyway, so I've he spends heard. a little bit trying to fire and the pipe, it's and it's lovely as it you would know, kid. new pipes take a while to fire. Uh, I don't know, but I mean, look, he's just such a sweet man, such a sweet, lovely man. Anyway, I thought let's. Uh, he just reminds me of my grandpa, and I miss him dearly, very much. My grandpa died when I was six, and he was just... Kind of he was this guy, basically. Probably something of Tolkien's view refracted through. So the prologue has an article concerning hobbits, you may remember. It's a first thing. And the very second thing is... Mm, that's lovely, this. Like... What a just angel. Concerning pipe weed. This guy is why I'm growing my hair out, by the way. There is another astonishing thing about hobbits of old that must be mentioned. An astonishing habit. They imbibed or inhaled through pipes of clay or wood the smoke of the burning leaves of a herb which they called pipeweed or leaf, a variety probably, probably of Nicosiana, Nicosiana. A great deal of mystery surrounds the origin of this peculiar custom or art, as the hobbits preferred to call it. I love that art. It is indeed an art. You know, I think I've decided. I think for this vacation, I might just read Lord of the Rings again for the 79,000th time of my life. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I've decided. You just have to keep a thing going with a completely new pipe. See? New pipe. you got to keep it, oh, keep it burning. I preferred to call it. All that could be discovered about it in antiquity was put together by Mary Adock Brandybuck, later Master of Buckland. And since he and the tobacco of the South Farthing play a part in the history that follows, his remarks in the introduction to his Herb Lord of the Shire may be quoted. So it's Mary. It's Mary who's speaking, speaking this. So this is Mary writing it down long after the story is over. This, he says, is the one art that we can certainly claim to be our own invention. When hobbits first, to begin, when hobbits first began to smoke is not known. All the legends and the family histories take it for granted. For ages, folk in the Shire smoked various herbs, some fouler, some sweeter. But all accounts agree that Tobold Hornblower of Longbottom in the South Farthing first grew the true pipeweed in his garden in the days of Isengrim II, about the year 1070 of Shire Reckoning. The best homegrown still comes from that district, especially the varieties known okay, as... Okay, so then he gives his thoughts with, about the passage. It's fantastic. ...with the Numenorians. It grows abundantly in Gondor, and there is richer and larger than in the north, where it is never found wild and flourishes only in far in warm, sheltered places like Longbottom. The men of Gondor call it sweet Galenus and esteem it only for the fragrance of its flowers. From that land it must have been carried up the greenway during the long centuries between the coming of Elendil and our own days. But even the Dunedin of Gondor uh, the, 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 allow us this credit. Hobbits first put it into pipes. Not even wizards thought of that before we did. And then this lovely, though one wizard that I knew took up the art long ago. Good old became Gandalf. became as skillful in it as in all th other things that he put his mind to. A very beautiful oblique reference to Gandalf. Oh, going on. Love a bit of Gandalf. Just like the sheer joy of simple oh, it things. really sweetly, this pipe. We've got very fresh tobacco in it, so it needs a bit of relighting. But it gives me great pleasure. And I think that's part of the whole pleasure of pipe smoking is the beauty of the pipe itself. The stories the pipe may hold. The stories that first got us interested in pipe smoking. When that story is actually personal and you can name the very person who made your pipe, I think it makes it... Beautiful, beautiful, lovely, fantastic. Anyways, that 
that's I just wanted to show you guys that there's awesome stuff like that out there that old men like me thoroughly enjoy um, consuming that type of content, dude. It's the best. It is absolutely the best. If he records himself reading a book, I, I would love it. Who? Me? I don't have the voice, dude. I got a whiny Mickey Mouse Canadian voice, dude. There's no way. Imagine me reading Tolkien to you guys. Oh, and Gandalf is attacking Mordor. Mordor is attacking. Oh, no. Oh, God. Shut up, dude. We don't want to listen to you. You're giving me anxiety listening to your squeaky ass voice. Know him? Oh, yeah, of course. I think he might have something along those lines to be fair to be honest even even i think i think he he i mean he does readings i would love if he were to narrate but i i think there's actually something financially uh that would blockade that right i don't think he could record himself reading out a full tolkien book series as much as we would all love it as an audiobook if you will and uh, I just, I, I don't think that you'd, you'd actually be allowed to, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't think that would even be possible. I'm sure there's something in terms of copyright material and whatnot that wouldn't be allowed. <laughs> How did Steph fall for, for the voice? God, God knows, dude. I think I kept that hidden for the first couple of months. I can't read. I'm thick AF. I keep reading the same line over and over again. I mean, it just takes practice and time, brother. I think reading again, proper reading is a, a is a lost art. And that goes deeply into linguistic ability, right? And 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 the more you I mean, you could tell someone that reads in the way they communicate and, and speak as well. Ooh, ultimate pack. I think this is from the friendly. These are terrible, but anyways. Oh, there you go. Watch this only be an 84. Oh, God. Hold on. Oh, how wrong I was. Trend theory? Come on, run the foot market. Be right about it. Give me something good here. Not bad. Two Forex players. I like that. Very good. There might even be a dangler here. No danglers. Oh, to the exchange. Let's go, boys. Uh, this is a problem, though. Stupid ass game, man. Sorry. Let's go, boys. No, what is happening? Oh, okay. An ultimate pack that paid out. Yeah, and it, I mean, it wasn't from champs, though. It was just from uh, objectives. Love reading mostly crime books. Okay, so Rodri, and then we'll do a few more 83s, I guess. Why not? Uh, back to building up good amounts of Forex packs. I love it. Reminds me that when George Costanza didn't want to read because he didn't like the voice of his, the sound of his own voice. <laughs> So he buys the audiobook instead, and the narrator, ha the narrator has George's voice. <laughs> Dude, Seinfeld in general is just Larry David. It oh, goalkeepers! Larry David is an absolute genius. I think the final season of uh, Curb is 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 going on now, right? New Rainbow Six season on Thursday. I wish I still played that game, man. What a great game. Uh, Jinxie or whatever his name is has single-handedly revitalized that whole game and genre. I mean, if if Rainbow Six or or whoever runs it, what is it, Activision or whoever, that that kid better be on like a million dollar a month uh, reward structure, dude, with 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 Activision or Rainbow Six, because he single-handedly brought that game back. That kid is off the rails, but one hundred percent save that save that game.
It was at the invitation doing a live stream of the reveal. That's great. Take my money. Take my money. Take my bank card. Gandalf talking to Frodo always gets me. When Frodo says he wishes it wasn't his task to go to Mordor, he says so do I, and so do all who live to see such times. But that is not for them to decide. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given us. I've got a few LOTR tattoos. That world is absolutely goated. Yep. That and Avatar The Last Airbender. Yep. The way he he refers to Frodo and, 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 and sometimes speaks to him in absolute angst, uh, as if, you know, a grandfather is talking to a beloved grandson that's about to go off to war. Same type of thing. Tolkien was a... I mean, a one-off, super gifted um, person, character, whatever. Yeah. Heartbreaking, almost. Excited for the holiday? Very. Very excited, yeah. Nervous. I mean, I, I, I hate flying and having five or six people to be responsible for is, uh, is a bit overwhelming. But, uh... uh... Do I care about... I mean, 84s are genuinely discard. Ah, uh, you know what? We could do the 85 PP, I suppose. That'd be a bit dumb if I didn't take uh, a Zule. Just because I'm too lazy. I mean, I'm, I'm in the SBCs. I'm doing SBCs. I might as well do the 85 PP before it expires. Wait, what? Oh, is the 85 PP gone now? That's awkward. Yeah. Okay, well, rip. It is gone. Nah, Boromir 100% redeemed him. 100% redeemed himself. But isn't isn't that one of the saddest the saddest things? Right? Make a mistake and we'll be forever held accountable for that mistake instead of people uh, looking for that redemption. Or you yourself being allowed to redeem. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of Tabs. I don't need him anymore for the Leeds team. He's gone. I have way too many wingbacks in the Leeds setup. Bam! For your bachelor party, Rock. Let's go. Hopefully that was good. Bam! For your bachelor party. You some outdoors boys, huh? I like that. That's cool. Damn, that's, a, that's a, not, not something I would have thought of. That's great. I love that. Off to Whistla in two weeks. Can't wait. What's where's Whistla, Viper? I did enjoy Hell Divers. Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed gaming with Nep. I think more than anything. I just enjoyed gaming with Nepo. Talks of Hogwarts Two Legacy in the making. Hogwarts Legacy Two, dude. I've told you guys from the beginning. I I I wish and hope they keep coming out with new Hogwarts games, and it's the next student year. So the next game is the next year. Loosely, maybe even carrying on from the story, not even necessarily needing to, but bro, it would just, and maybe they worked a little bit on the storyline. That universe and that game was amazing. I loved Hogwarts. As I've said, the side stories of Hogwarts were better than the main story, but that the universe, the world, the ambiance was, Hogwarts was great, man. I thoroughly enjoyed playing it on stream. I just was disappointed by the by the by the story. But not I mean not everyone. A lot of people said they enjoyed the story, so Dog sledding, snow biking, I don't even know what that is. Distillery tours. Nice. Good stuff, man. I can't wait for the Harry Potter TV series, or hopefully better than the Lord of the Rings one. Interestingly, I, I I thought I would hate the Lord of the Rings TV series. I kind of liked it. It was, what, one or two seasons long? I remember watching that recovering from uh, one of my surgeries uh, a couple years ago. Whistler is in Poland, skiing. Ah, 
I know the team, right? Whistler Krakow or something like that? I thought for a second you, like, were giving a nickname to Whistler like in Vancouver. As in the ski town that's 40 minutes away from me or 30 minutes away from me. I was like, man, man is that what, what people outside of Vancouver call Whistler? Sounds like, I thought for a second you were just being a, a Brit talking about Whistler, Vancouver. Yeah, look, 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 look. Look at that. 84s are damn near discard, bro. New season of Rings of Powers out this year. With a Boston accent. I feel like Brits would say instead of Whistler. Their, their ER enunciation is always with an A. Instead of dinner, dinna. Instead of Whistler, Whistla. Like, all right, man. Well, that's the thing, Frankie. That was what was partially disappointing for me about Hogwarts. Is you guys know I wanted to be an evil psycho in um, in Hogwarts. I wanted to go that route of just pure evil and murdering everybody, slowly building up to being the next he who shall not be named. And it just did, the game didn't let me do that at all. Like for almost anything, it was really stupid. It's just too safe, man. Like, the game should allow you to be horrifically evil. And you can in some ways, but not at all the way I want to be. Or I want it to be. But it, it was great. I think, again, if you could put that aside, it was fantastic. Fable was awesome for that. What a game, dude. Wow, what a throwback. The school classes were kind of rushed too. Yeah, I think that's just because people have the attention span of a squirrel. So if you did, if you if you really went deep with the lore of that in a video game, too many TikTok idiots play video games and they would have just given up on the game or said the game sucks, which is too bad. I agree with you though. I just aged myself. I mean, that's a, it was a great game. I feel like we definitely need to give ourselves time for uh, Red Dead 2 this summer. I don't know how I'm going to do that with Elden Ring's DLC coming out and us doing a full experience in Elden Ring. I'm, I don't know. Money. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Take my money. Take my bank card. Still on the LOTR track now. Thanks, Nick. Tossing on Pippin's song before Foot Champs and feeling like Faramir riding to my death in a Skiliath. <laughs> Nick, thank you for the bits. I know this is a meme at some point, but if from soft from soft made a Harry Potter game, I'd lose my mind. Dude, imagine from soft making a Star Wars game, like like the same idea but in the Star Wars universe. That's it, man. That's it. That would be the game I would play. I would be the man versus game of that type of game in universe. That's it. I'm done. I mean, I, I try, and and I think that's partially why a nerd like me loved Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Bloodborne to some extent. Uh, Elden Ring, etc. so much is because you can bait. I mean, we our, our last Elden Ring build last summer was an Aragorn build, right? An Aragorn strength build, an honorable knight build. I mean, the beauty of Elden Ring and whatever is, is you can very much make it feel like a, your own Lord of the Rings universe, which is beautiful. And so that's what video games are about for me. I gotta eat her. This is a really... Oh, no, I don't. Not yet. Not yet. I did an Anakin build. Yeah, so what I... what I Well, what I kind of want to do is a Dexterity Bleed or a Dexterity Faith build. So either a, a Dexterity Evil bead, Bleed build or a Dexterity Honorable uh, Faith build for this summer for the couple of weeks building up to the elden ring dlc that's good that's my plan for this summer i don't know which route we're gonna go but well ghost of tsushima just announced they're doing a full pc director's cut release 
uh, this summer too. I quote tweeted it. I mean, that's another game that we'll be playing. I mean, we got through like 60, 70% of Ghost of Tsushima. It's just, I mean, the beauty now of all these great games coming out is once again, we're going to have too much. Too much to play. Yeah, me, I mean, me and Nep essentially beat Diablo 4. Yeah, I, we played Diablo 4 in the summer. First ever Diablo experience, and, and I loved it. But I beat it. I got to the max, basically, or what you'd consider the max of the game and the storyline finished and whatnot. And I know a lot of people, as always, say that's just the beginning of the game. And I played through the that's just the beginning of the game and played beyond that. But I kind of just, there's just so many other games and Tarkov ended up wiping very, very close to after that. But yeah, no, Diablo 4 was great. Great game. Great, great, great game. Oh, and Ganu Joshua's tomorrow. Oh, man. I'll be at some bar on a beach watching that, I guess. Exciting. Forgot that that was tomorrow. Leeds play tomorrow? Yeah, there's a lot to look forward to. How have I still not gone through these 77 by 3s? How have I not op how have I not played a game yet? Should we go play a game? Okay, the next uh the next dupe we go play a game. Next dupe we go play a game, boys. Or next high rated dupe, because I'll probably like next 84 and above dupe we'll play a game. I'll see you in El Salvador. I'd love to go to El Salvador. Uh yeah, maybe. Maybe that's where we're going. Easy. Hey man. Thanks, Dr. J. I, I agree, brother. I agree. As a content creator, dude, it's 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 hard though, man. It really is. I'm s I, I feel like there's two things kind of stopping me in the last 10 or 11 years properly taking vacations away, right? Number one, I don't deserve a vacation away from playing video games a as my job, right? So that's one of the things. I'm like, I can't justify taking a vacation. Like my whole job is a vacation. Uh, so there's that. The second part is, is again, the financial fears of when I stop streaming, I don't make any money. But there's more than that, right? Is when I'm gone, not only am I not making money for those seven or eight days I'm gone, but when I come back, I take a massive, sometimes 50% docking in my income, right? Because again, eight days away, even for those of you guys that are still here, you find other people to consume and watch and enjoy. And then by eight days, when I come back, you're like, oh no, I kind of like this other guy as opposed to Nick. And then people stick with those other people, right? That's just the reality of content creation in this world. So as a content creator, I, I always have that fear of like, oh man, I can't take time off. Not only do I not deserve time off because my job is so easy, but also if I take time off, well, I'm, I'm fearful of coming back and having next to no ability to do this as a job, right? You're always, because you have that, uh, me and Nep talked about it years ago, no matter how successful Nep is, or no matter how successful I am or was, me and Nep agreed that we both have this, like, um, uh, uh, not recency bias, God, what's the word? Uh, imposter syndrome, where we just feel like we don't deserve to be here anyways, so we're always scared of, like, coming back, not like, we're always scared of coming back and being even more irrelevant or, or just completely irrelevant where we can't even do this as a job. And I'm so grateful to be able to do this as a job that the last thing I would want is to come back and be like, oh, wow, there's nobody's watching. I have no subs. Well, you know what? Time to go do some real life stuff. Get back into marketing, get back into building cars or, or whatever, instead of chatting about football and F1 and life and philosophy and, and, and all the fun stuff I get to do every day on stream. So I suppose that's why I always have such difficulty taking time off is there's this real fear of losing everything you've worked for. And there's this other side where you feel like an imposter, where you don't deserve to have 
streaming success and you think if you take any time off it just all goes away right so that's why i want for this time off to just completely disassociate and 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 for the first time in 11 years of being on twitch to be able to just be gone and and just whatever i come back to in eight days Amen. is what i come back to and i'm be grateful for whoever's around was amazing highly recommend for a bachelor trip Mm. Just good vibes, doing cool shit with your boy. Heck yeah, my mom took me to Banff when I was young, and it, it was off. It was awesome even back then. She had a conference up there, um, and I got to just hang out. We went to like the, uh, not like we went to the ice, which I'm sure is now receded a lot. But we went to the, the ice. What is that called? Where the ice does a lot of ice things. Hey man, speaking is hard. I can't glaciers. Okay. Thank you. Let's Good God. Smile. <laughs> Alba, thank you for the forty, Habibi. Appreciate you, man. Take my money. Take my money. Take my bank card. I gotta clear the trade the pot, man. That's a hundred. That that while you are away, it makes go. your true followers miss you and reaffirms why we follow you. So true. It's possible time away could play into your favor as well. Yeah, potentially, Stern. Potentially, yeah. Yeah. Dolls, no, thank you for the four you. gifteds, my man. You're a legend, brother. Thank you, bro. And Sturm, Alba, Rock, Peter. Thanks, guys. Played hey, eight man. games in a row against 4-3-2-1. That definitely seems to be the meta for sweats right now. Yeah, I agree. Nico, thank you for the 15. I'm playing five of the back or four one two one two four three two one variations that become five of the back out of possession. It was so doing the sub. Oh wait, did you mean to resub and you gifted four subs by accident, Gulls? Oh god. Well, Yi J N, Lee Moonin, Stinky Breath, and uh, Beamer all getting gifted subs are very grateful for that button mix up. <laughs> Evo saving the game. Yep. Well, now we got 6 p.m. content coming. So we'll, we'll, I, I promise we'll at least play two, three games after 6 p.m. content, guys. I need to to qualify for uh, Weekend League anyways. What about my Evos when I'm away? Um, I mean, I honestly, I don't care, but let's have a look. I mean, these two will be done today. What expires Fuck while I'm away? Fucking, 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 Literally fucking nothing. Canadians. Let's go be... Schaefer with the $25, 75-month resub, getting us demonetized, and I'm so honored by it. Thank you, dude. Appreciate the 25. Um, maybe I submit this one, because this will be the next one we do, Shackleton. I might be able to do some Shackleton tonight, too, actually. Because, look, th this is the one I wanted to, to, to spend on right here. Look at how good this Shackleton gets. Look at that. That I honestly think he's taking Kafu out of my team. Are you Joe? I have to. Medium high, four star weak foot, 99 agility and balance, 99 stamina. With an anchor, I think he gets like 90 strength, 99 acceleration, 96 sprint speed. What a card. 86 composure is fantastic as well. So I think that'll be our right back. Um, just don't shoot. Yeah, well, true. But my, my, my right back is usually a lot more defensive. My left back being Alfonso Davies is the one that gets shots, crosses, assists, etc. Keep in case a better one comes along. True. Because, I mean, I'm only gone for eight days. So I'll still have eight days. To, is, there, is there a lot of games? So two wins. Five wins. Nah, nine wins to get this done. To get that done in a day or two. Yeah, you're probably right. You know what? Maybe I don't even rush it. I keep both of these for now. Hey? That's a good that's a good that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Maybe I just hold. Was the Epi already demonetized? I think before demonetized us with his $25 pie uh, alert, yeah. I think so. 
Tav is unreal in that Evo. I know, but I, I gotta go. I gotta go with the Leeds boys first. Always gotta go with the Leeds boys. The fact that I can make a 68 rated Shackleton, a what? 85 rated God right back or 88 rated God right back, whatever it is. I have to do it. It's just gotta be done. And we did just yeet Tav finally after five months. We put him into an SBC. So, 84. Speaking of which, this exact 84. Oh! This is where. Dutch! Madsen! Let's go for the Dutch team before we go on vacation, boys. I don't feel like anyone else will care too, too much about this, but that's huge. What a card, man. What a card. Speaking of a card turning into a god with an anchor, this is the one. He's not going to replace Alfonso Davies. Um. But we can test him instead of Alfonso Davies today. Yeah, he's got the one upgrade. Dortmund are bottle jobs, though, so I don't really know how many upgrades you think this Matson could get. Maybe another one? Yeah, we'll play a game, but I mean, we're, we're nine minutes away from 6 p.m. content, so let's go. Well, Inform Tavs was sacrificed for a Matson, which is huge. Goes right into the Dutch team, man incredible incredible play styles oh that 68 strength is a bit caca though Dortmund's schedule is pretty easy dub he is amazing okay so what we could do as well is just make this team a bit more original let me hey, let me see if i can work some things around here so what I want is, 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 oh no, I don't think I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Watch, 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 watch. So what we'll do, the idea is going to be Fonzie as our box to box mid, Matson as our uh, new left back. Erupt. Now, how. Dude. Dub. What a freaking dub. I just get uh, Nanto as a striker and we're zooming. Everyone in the team fits. That's actually Gangster AF. Look at that. What a cool team, man. That's a pretty original setup for uh, today's games. I know I'm going to play one game and hate myself, but... So Fonzie there, Schneider, Polly Pockets. How about that, guys? That That's what the team will play like in game. Isn't that cool? So Schneid's in the cam roll, obviously. Uh, Chris up top, Fonzie and Vieira together. Uh, Nanto, Politano. Damn, that's a hell of a setup. That is a hell of a setup. And then if we want to go ultra attack, we very much can do that. Yeah. How about that? Just try and force the ball. There we go. The Canadian Marcelo up top. Love it. SBC Hullet in March. Wait, what? I mean, I've got a few other options, but... Oh, it's better than uh, Rykard at center back. Um, I'd say Hullet is probably better than Laurent Blanc. Look at this. Look at these center back options I have. Isn't that crazy? Let's go check the Dutch team real quick too. So this is the this is the squad we're going to use in gameplay today. But Matson won't last very long, to be honest. He he'll just go into the Dutch setup. Finally, we have a left back uh, replacement. I think that's the only. Yeah. What an erupt. That's a hot looking team now, man. I love it. Really wish I could have evo this card. I, I, I don't know how I still haven't been able to evo this card whatsoever. It's very odd that he hasn't been an option in anything. 
He's a very fun card, but... Need a Vandersar on that team? I'd love a Vandersar. I mean, honestly, or a... Just a Rude Van Nistelrooy as an improvement. A better ver... Uh, a, 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 well, a, a new or better Van Dyke would be nice, too. Another one that's been a bit weird, like how Leroy Fur I've not been able to upgrade yet either. How he hasn't had a dynamic image yet. Even just a training top dynamic image is so dumb. So lazy for me, eh? So lazy. Uh, okay, and then I just want to have a gander at the lead setup too. Is Elan in there, the one that's kind of ruining it? Yeah. Any changes to any of that? Not really, right? We're talking about what I would rather see, or what I'd rather use in-game is probably that. And then honestly, maybe instead of Patty, I'd probably go with Kino. But I think I'll just stick with Patty for the hell of it. But this Kino card is crazy. Seriously, seriously, top tier card, man. Top tier card. So damn good. Dude, the double play styles, the four star, four star. This this is probably one of the better strikers I've used this year, because of the um uh the the play styles. Oddly enough, stats are cracked. Weak foot skill moves cracked. Piro better? Nah, Piro sucks in game. Unfortunately, man, it's just a very average card. He's got the five star weak foot, which makes him okay to use, but it's the agility, the balance is rough. Really does need four star skills too. Yeah. Damn, I'm so happy with the Matson pull, man. That's probably one of the most wanted ones uh, I have for this week. Heck yeah. Right before we go on vacation too. Uh, Evos have made the Leeds and Dutch teams formidable this year. Yep. A full champs run with the Leeds team. Dude, I just don't care about champs anymore, man. I, if they do something crazy with gameplay and they work on making the servers better, I would love to get back to playing a lot of games. Don't get me wrong, guys. I mean, the first three to four months of this game, we were playing every champs game and competing all the way. Last year, we we played so much champs. Um, We've done so much. We did so much last year. It's just this year, dude, the, the servers, the gameplay, the meta, the people still playing the game... It, I barely get two to five games a day before I want to rip my rip my nuts off, man. It's super unfortunate, but it's just the truth. I, I'm not saying where I'm going on uh, vacation. But I, I will be documenting all of it, DeGasparian. And on our flight back, or on our way back, I'll then be posting all of it. Um, I just kind of want to just be anonymous and... And, and just enjoy time with the family and not really be an uh, online creator, whether it's to Twitter or Instagram or anything. I'll, I'll keep up a bit with Twitter. I'll, I'll keep up with what's going on in the Ultimate Team universe just because I, I won't be able to help myself, obviously. On, uh, on Vic... French. No, oh, I mean, whatever. To the exchange! Um, I think I hurt my neck there. Nice. A 77 by 3. Well, dupes city. Oh my god, and we got a minute! We got a minute! Hold on. We got a minute, guys. Can I do this before we hit six? It's Thursday. I mean, I can't imagine we're going to get crazy content today. As much as I'm enjoying myself, I think I'm more enjoying myself for the grind that I'm doing. Uh, but... We'll see what the content looks like, and then we're going to get some gameplay with our new pack pull, dude. I got one of my most wanted pack pulls for uh, Fantasy FC. Look at him! Look at how beautiful he looks! Dutch baller. Hopefully he'll actually get some Euro time. He probably won't, though, to be fair. 
freaking the Dutch setup will rather use Daily Blind, 93-year-old Daily Blind at left back instead of Madsen. All right. So, are we 6 p.m.? Yep. I'm going to turn off the uh, chat for a second, just, just in case we get something cool here. First thing we'll have to see is uh, SBCs. So, I'll reload the SBCs. Frodo, huh? Her first name is Frodo. That's pretty cool. Or the female version of Frodo, which is even more cool. Okay, the 85 PP. Oh, we did have PPs. I just did them during yesterday's grind, didn't I? All right, where's the content, guys? Wait, did Bongiorno get another upgrade? No. I think he started as an 88. Did they forget it's... Wilfred Singo, I think, is new. I always struggle with wingbacks that have the tech playstyle because I love that playstyle, but using the tech playstyle with your wingbacks gets you in so much trouble. Because you constantly try and go on these dribbles and lose the ball and then get countered. I had, uh, what was it? My UCL Cancelo, such a good card with the tech playstyle, but I would always give up dumb goals because I'd constantly try and cook people with the tech playstyle. Anyways... Cool card. I don't really know what Monaco are doing right now. I mean, they are in the McDonald's league, so you'd think this will be a plus four easy, right? Clean sheet, two games. I swear to God, if this guy's also injured, I'll laugh my ass off. Uh, three appearances in the next four games, 11 goals. Can, Mon can Monaco score 11 goals? Hi, hi. Wow. He's six foot three. Dear God. Well, if you want a defensive wing back, this might be your guy. Holy moly. 6-3, give him an anchor. Wow. Okay. Well, depending on your playstyle, this might be a pretty sweet card. Whether or not he gets upgrades. Holy. I'd assume he's going to be cheap AF, right? Who who even wants this? 84-85 is not that cheap, but 84 is our... I mean, I mean, that's probably, what, 30-40k? That's cheap. That's nice and cheap. AIK is a new kit. Interesting. Okay. That's kind of odd. What? Five gold? What is this garbage? What are these idiot requirements? Anyways, I'll move on. I don't care about any of that. I mean, I guess if it was a Leeds setup, I'd, I'd pay any number of price for it. Wait. Wait, the kit and that player is the only Thursday content? Man, maybe I am taking vacation at the right time. Wait, it's Thursday. Don't we have marquee matchups or something? Challenges would it be in? Yeah, we got new marquee matchups. A tradable 50k pack is the first time we've had that this year. That's okay. Bundesliga for a mini primer. Okay, so the marquee matchups, they've improved. A prime mixed for Italy and silvers. That's actually, those are actually pretty good, by the way. Rewards. A mini tradable 50k. As well, you can just use a couple of golds and the rest silver if you do the grind the way I do. And then a rare mix pack is way worse than a mini 50k. That's hilarious. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe if that's all we got for SBCs, maybe we actually got a good Evo, guys. Oh, please. I almost don't want there to be a good Evo because I'm on vacation. Nah, you guys need some good Evos. Come on, EA. <laughs> hey. No Evos. I'm assuming we'll get some crazy stuff probably tomorrow, right? For the showdown thing. Wait, so hold on a sec. There's no Evos. There's just that one SBC. Maybe new objectives for a Thursday? Man, EA are doing their best to make me not have FOMO. Fear of missing out while I'm on vacation. We, I think we may have timed this vacation better than anything I've ever imagined in terms of missed content while I'm gone. There's nothing. Okay. Loading screen. Let's check it out. Jomo, joy of missing out. Is that, that is, so that is the end of content. Wow. So there is a new loading screen though. Let's check it out, boys. Let's see what I'll be missing. Green timed vacation. Yep. 99 vacation timing. FC24 has been the easiest iteration of ultimate team to quit. And isn't that sad? But there's a lot of great games out there, so I suppose at least if, if this game isn't holding you, um, making you excited, there are a lot of uh, different games out there, which is a W. Next promo is a warm-up promo type of vibe? I mean, we'll see. 
Did we not get a loading screen? I, I, PC 90% of the time doesn't load because you load in too fast. Is there actually a loading screen or is it just the one from yesterday, guys? I have to take a lava diarrhea, but I'm recording right now. I don't... Oh, wow. They didn't bother to even make a new loading screen. Wait, you guys told me there was a loading screen. Helldivers 2. Now we're playing Tarkov with Geeksay first. Uh, uh, Tarkov content creator from uh, uh, in Canada as well. So I've got a organized uh, duos stream with him. Just something fun, something new I thought would be cool for you guys. And then uh, in a couple of hours, me and Nep will be doing a, uh, a, a partnered Helldivers 2 day two stream as well. Which I'm excited about because uh, day one was super fun. Well, boys. Uh, bit of an L. Bit of an L. Bit of an L for content. Right, so I'm going to go take a hot lava diarrhea, but I'm not ending the ultimate team grind because I did promise you guys some gameplay. We did just pack mats in. So what we're going to do here when I get back in five minutes after my hot lava diarrhea is we'll play a couple of games with mats in and then we'll get some big packs uh, to see if we can hit maybe a Wesley Schneider before I end it to go on vacation. All right, so I will be back in five minutes. We will be continuing ultimate team. Please don't be psychos in the chat for the next five minutes while I'm gone, okay? I love you all, and I will be right back. I'll get uh, I'll get some of that lovely, lovely background playlist playing too.
Hey, man. All right. Did Nick leave early for vacation? No, Nick had a lava diarrhea. As my wife is yelling at me. Um. Yeah, we had a we had an, an emergency cacarel, boys. Dude, what do I do on the plane if I have an emergency cacarel? That is giving me genuine anxiety. By the way, what do you do in that instance? Do I got to score or assist on this final stage for Nanto? I don't even remember. I think it's assist. Don't eat. Not gonna lie, it's not a bad idea. That is a legitimate huge fear of mine, dude. I've had some crazy near misses in terms of emergencies. I have GI hey, issues. Man. Whether I have Crohn's, I don't know, but... I have terrible GI issues, and out of nowhere, dude, I eat the blandest food, clean, whole food, and yet, out of nowhere, I'll just have these emergencies, man. Messi is goat. Let's see if he even has Messi. Take my money, take my bank card! Nope. Kind of a cool team, though. Right? Like, what, 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 what do I have to do? Okay, he did the offside trap. What's happening? Is he just going to go offline? Are you playing now, man? Oh, maybe he was loading the stream up. He's playing. Nice. All right, we got an assist with Nanto. GG. GG. I think I need two goal win by two goals, right? What is this guy doing? Nice. Ronaldo deselected from that. Nice try. Oh god, I got cut. Delay in this game is so frustrating. It's one thing I'm not going to miss, man. The heavy delay in this game is such a joke. Why is Ronaldo so offside, man? It's a good goal, but he's offside, brother. Cristiano Ronaldo, dude. How are you going to fraud that? Let's go, Wes. Let's go, Wes. Good goal. Seat 18 be the onboard toil. It has been put out of action. We can only apologize for any inconvenience caused by this issue. We have roughly four hours left of the flight. No. Dude, you're making me so nervous. For real. You're actually making me nervous, man. Is this the moment? 
Oh, wow. Oh, it's just a casual tackle through my back as I go to shoot in the net. Amazing. This guy might be the weirdest opponent I've played against in a long time. He just puts his controller down for random moments. I don't get it. Nice, Madsen with the... Attack fizzling out. Nice. Cristiano Ronaldo. Look at this press. There's just like five players hunting me down like lunatics. What is this gameplay? And then he stops playing. This community is so washed, man. This community is so washed. My man just slide tackled through my back and won the ball somehow. Unlucky. It's random button clicks. Wesley Snyder. Nyonto. Breaking news, man poops and causes an emergency landing. No, but for real, dude, I I, I don't know why I have this, but I have a major anxiety issues with like the bathroom and needing to use the bathroom. Being in public and like we go on a nice family walk somewhere and it's like, guys, I know we're on this lovely family. My guy just walked through three tackles to make it 2-1. What a horrible game this is. Anyways, um, you know, we're on a lovely family walk. It's sunset, and, and then all of a sudden, Nick2018 says, Hey, guys, if I don't find a toilet in the next minute, I'm going to crap myself. Possession regained by the old boys. Well, it looked what a like save by Loris. Oh, a, a plane had to emergency three, land a month ago because someone shot all over plane aisles. That, honestly, that would be me. No joke. Why is Schneid's off of corners? What's going on? Who's going to get on the end of it? Oh, oh unlucky it. Ronaldo. This is definitely a loss, isn't it, guys? Feels like it would be. Silva. Hey, Look at the press! Look at that press, man! You win the ball and get attacked by three players. You literally are punished for defending. I just conceded from it. You literally get punished for winning the ball in this dead game, man. You genuinely get punished for winning the fucking ball in this awful game. Like, what is that, man? We have a situation you may never have heard come over the tannoy, but we are needing to make an emergency. Look at this garbage, man. He's just made it 3-2 by doing the stupidest shit. put the onboard toiled out of action. Be a chance to break nah. That's very intelligent play to win back possession. What? Will It's a fucking foul, you shite game. Anyways. Terrible goal. Don't eat till you get there. Now, what my problem is, is my major diarrheas happen from 8 a.m. to about noon. Is usually when my emergency diarrheas happen. And guess when we're flying? Yep. How is this? <clears throat> this IE apparently has 99 pace.
Can someone get on the end of it? Okay, man. What is going on with... What the hell is that pass? That's a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Snyder. Davies. <sighs> So it is, the first half story has been written. Take laxatives. Lots of rice the days leading up. Disco, we leave in less than 24 hours. I mean, it is what hey, it man. is, man. I think up, just like any anxiety issues that you have, you have to tell yourself to live in the moment, man. Be like, I, why am I saying all these what if situations of me having to have a diarrhea in the plane? Like, just live in the moment, deal with it if and when it happens. Awesome pass by Wesley Schneider. One of the world's best passers. Yeah. Right. Jonathan Close. Dude, what the fuck is this gameplay, man? Like, what is this gameplay, bro? That has to be a pen. Oh my god, Wilfred Nanto. What the fuck? That was... Oh, he tried the kickoff glitch. Lol. Boys do from this position. Oh my god, Alfonso, it's like he's a bronze. Just spam tackle, bro, and, and suffer zero consequences. Are you guys watching the way this guy just spams tackle infinitely? the dumbest game of FIFA I've played in a long time. Can I see how many tackle attempts this guy's had? 40 tackle attempts across 55 minutes. Zero fouls committed. He's missed 30 attempted tackles and given away no fouls. What a dumb game. Once again, just click heavy tackle everywhere and you never get punished for it. You don't get punished for giving away fouls. You don't get punished for your players being out of position. What a bad game. Like, seriously, no, I mean, no wonder... I would say this game has lost 98% of its player base versus last year. And last year was a dog shit game as well. And there's the delivery. Um, and it's because of these situations. Like these no mind brain fucks can sit there and just click buttons infinitely and suffer zero consequences for it. I did everything right there and then just dribbled too much at the end. <clears throat> I have to blame myself there. Okay. Okay. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Snyder. I just sent Desai to Narnia, and then he just recovered within a half millisecond. Oh my god. And over it comes. Probably to get it away. Matero Politano. Snyder. Can't sit back. Nice. Nice 
ball. Li nice 15 minute late ball roll. Nanto's offside. I'm gonna break something, man. I just need one more assist with Nanto, and this guy's unhinged playstyle is just melting my brain. this game. Nice, Fonzie. And the old boys have it once again. Snyder. And the flag has gone up here. Offside the decision. He tackled his own player, and yet still there was someone else to make another tackle. He's going to score here. Oh, nice ball. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Why the delay? Just pass the ball, my brother. Oh my god, dude. Just pass the fucking ball. Why do you delay and then get tackled, you dead shit game? And in the right position to make sure it didn't go all the way through. Alfonso Davies. Tried to be too cute there. I'm going to break something. <laughs> what a dumb game. Okay. Tackle bounced back to a nice Rio. Of course. Of course. Nice. Dude, is Ronaldo on fucking drugs, man? Like, what is this gameplay? Here we go. I hate this fucked game, man. My guys are all, all bronzes right now. <laughs> Dude, come on, man. How are, you, how are you gonna let that guy just bounce through 14 tackles? real like what was that pass is this the is this the first game of the day is this the first fucking game i've played today 18 shots to six 1.8 expected goals and he has four goals 73 tackles 73 he's missed more than 50 tackles this game and given zero fouls my man has missed 50 plus tackles. And he's not given away one foul this game. My man misses 80% of his heavy tackles into my players and has not given away a foul. This is unbelievable, the, atta the tackle attempts from this fuckwit, dude. Nice, but I make tackles and it sends his players in on net. Dude, f 
Fonzie, what is up with the stamina, brother? What the f... Wara interception by AI controlled um Messi Ian Matson mm, fucking delete this game man Teammate and support He just made that pass while staring at three of my players and all of my players fell over for him to score that. Well, if you enjoy high scoring contests, this has been the game he just nonsensically ran at the net like a fucking idiot and got rewarded for it. Messi cutting in from the opportunity. Well, AI controlled Tony and he just gets an offside ball. Wow, bro, this is actually hilarious. And Morgan. First he brings on Morgan. Pass the ball to Messi, he gets auto-tackled. Love it. Lena Oberdor. Good tackle. Did that was killing Mbappe, by the way, that just made that pass. Oberdor. Well, serves me right. Can I ask where Rude Hullet? Can I just ask where Rude Hullet went, by the way? Alright. Amazing. This is potentially the dumbest game I've ever seen in my life. Well, that's it for the first period of extra time. Let's see what the second has in store. My man has eight shots and six goals, bro. I have 23 shots and five goals. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. My keeper's made one save, his keeper's made 10 saves. He's made 84 tackles and not, he's given away one foul, by the way, actually. One foul, guys. 84 tackles, one foul, 10 saves. Great game. Fantastic. Well, extra time continues. We're into the second period now. What have we just witnessed here as gameplay? What? Okay, so that was a pass to Archie Gray that the game just glitched out on. This Mbappe is a literal bronze, by the way. Well, what the hell is going on with these cards right now? Yeah, he's just going to time waste. On the what the f what is that? Determined defending. Yours are working. Just looking pass. Should be a pen. This could be the final opportunity to snap something. Kerr. I hate this game, man. My guy's team is just running around like a bunch of twats. Are you, like, is this real right now? Time is fast running out. Five minutes left in the second. 
second period of extra time here. Mbappe. Oh, good vision from Snyder. Okay, so hold on a sec. Tackling through the back is chill. Should have been more composed there at the end. I should have been more composed at the end there. I definitely had a chance to win it. Wow, bottom corner, hey? Come on, Archie. Cool and composed, brother. And that is when you need your goalkeeper. And it's gone in. Composure is so important under these trying circumstances. Job done from the spot. Oh, I went the right way and everything. What the heck? Can he get the better of the keeper? Political as always, in front of goal. You want a pressure cooker? This is it. He must score. So lethal in front of thinking he'd panic and go down the middle. Nice. Tom Panenka from Lionel. And there it is. Perfectly executed. And the penalty converted here. And he Dude, why I'm picking the right side. Why is freaking he freezing, man? Nice, Panenka left. Dude, I'm picking the right side and fucking Czech is like delayed in his movement. He had to score and he does. And he steps up to take the shot. And confidently what is happening here, man? The keepers are just not making saves even though we're picking the right sides. I should have lost right there too. Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. And up he comes, doing his best to remain focused. Ah. Into the goalkeeper's arms. And now a heaven-sent opportunity to win the match. I thought he'd Penenka down the middle. What in the hell is this, man? So stupid, dude. Dude, what is that? What is that, man? 97 tackles. My guy missed 70 tackles and gave away one foul. Holy shit. He heavy tackled my players in his own box through their back uncountless times. Wait, uncountless? Countless times. That's a double negative, isn't it? Uncountless. Well, that's not even a word. Wow. 
Well, I would say EA is uh, making me thankful I'm going on vacation with this dead content and horrible gameplay, so I suppose that's a good thing. Shoes good? Liverpool right back was good, yeah. He had 73 tackle attempts at the end of normal time and 97 at the end of it without any fouls being given or any successful tackles being made. Well, it's all good. I mean, I just say we can forward the email that, uh, you know. You used a fun team during qualifiers. It was a horrible experience. Yeah. I mean, it's my own fault. I spent the first 90 minutes forcing assists with Nanto and having clear chances to shoot and score and always looking backwards to a pass to Nanto first. So I lost that game mainly because I just forced assists with Wilfred Nanto. Why no camps on Matson? Um, nothing more than I just forgot. I think I have to give him an anchor, I said, right? I mean, I'm sure on a basic, he's probably still just fine, but I, I just forgot, that's all. Alfonso was uh, Alfonso Davies was awful as a box to box mid. By the way, did they completely nerf his stamina? I know his stamina wasn't the best, but dude, after seventy minutes, he couldn't move. Past few games are why I've retired from Ultimate Team, dude. What a joke, man. Terrible. It's like they've nerfed Fonzie, man. He's good at left back. I don't notice the, the bad stamina, maybe because he doesn't run as much as box to box mid. But what a difference between using Archie Gray versus Alfonso Davies in the midfield, man. I'm Derek Ray. I'm sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis. It's Stuart Robson. And we have action from the Champions Playoffs coming right up. It's a relatively original team. That 93 alibi I haven't faced in a long time. frustrated in their last game, so today they need to put in a good performance and more importantly, get a good result. Let's hope they put on a show here. And this confrontation is underway. The, 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 the troublesome thing about Alfonso Davies, too, is he feels so slow all of a sudden. Yeah. Two tackles where my players just fell over themselves instead of making a tackle. Fantastic. And everybody's using Hugo Lloris nowadays, huh? Oh my god. Terrible stats. Let's see about the delivery. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. Psycho bad pass. What? Fonzie just tried to block a shot instead of step in, step in and make a tackle there. Yes, so near indeed, but now they've got to concentrate on keeping their defensive shape. And so the first 11 for Real. Well, it's great to see them playing with the front two, but for it to work, they need to have a good understanding. They need to look up with each other and provide a different set of skills. He's beaten his man. Politano. What the fuck was that touch? Schneider. I I think my controller's broken. Even that Burba spin, instead of being a 90 degree spin, was almost a 180 degree spin. No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? All right, at least there's an assist for Nanto. God damn, 90 Schneider is so good, man. Okay, so we got an assist at least. You notice how I'm forcing the assist though, guys? Like, I, I, I feel like I just need to do that, otherwise they'll never happen. This Nanto card is terrible. Good work by the old boys to make sure possession changed hands. Okay, so that, by the way, that was a pass aimed at Ronaldo. Schneider. Schneider. Well, I must have 
and it went all the way to Politano instead. What is this game playing? Man? I think I need one more assist. Wow. Oh my god. Another horrifically dangerous pass across. It did look on for them, but not to be. Fonzie with the run. Good ball there. Not an opportunity here for old boys to extend their lead. Dude, what is this game, man? Ay, ay, ay. What the fuck? Important interception. Snyder. What the fuck was that touch? Ronaldo. Man, the high press is just the most moronic thing ever, man. The fact that you win the ball back and then spend the next 30 seconds just being pressed by six players is just so stupid, dude. Huge gaps in the play there, and of course the ball has to go right to his opposing player. Is that lock to Schneider instead of Ronaldo? Lol. To Wesley might be my favorite player in this whole team. When everybody else is playing like dim-witted morons, Wesley still clutches up, man. I mean, I know I got a lucky bounce back there, so it's... Look at Ronaldo, man. In this type of gameplay, Ronaldo turns into a statue. Unlucky. Right, do you see his tackle spamming there? His player was legitimately twerking. But not actually doing anything. Just like not being taken out of the game. He could just spam tackle, 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 tackle. Look, look, look at that press. Win the ball back. Rude Hullet has a seizure and bang. Oh, wow. I didn't even register that the pass is out. Come on, Fonzie, wake up! What pitch is this? Uh, I think it's just because I'm on PC, bro. That it looks crisp. I mean, those pictures don't look good, but that's just because they're actually not good. I think it's maybe just because I'm on PC.
and the ball is rolling again after what was a fantastic first 45 from the old boys. There was a pass there, but I think Nanto's passing is awful, so it's... Bro, how easy is that? Wow, embarrassing. Here's Ronaldo. Nyonto. Showing a real will to win the ball. I just don't. I, I just don't like this game, man. This game's terrible, man. Look at this. Look at this. Moving forward effectively. Again, just the AI winning the ball back constantly, dude. Loses possession. I play one pass and I get high pressed by four players there. How hard is it to get an assist for Wilfred Nanto, man? Trying to deliver it accurately. Yeah, this is unbelievable. Categorize that as a missed opportunity. <sighs> no way that bounces right back to him. Back and forth in terms of possession. Plenty of support here. There's the pullback. Of risk there, but he's won the ball. Unreal. Meet him up. Did you just get a pen for me tackling the ball? Did you just actually get a pen? Bro, my players get assaulted all game, no call. I just give away a pen for making a proper tackle, bro. This game sucks. What an absolute dog shit game. Yeah, you're going to go celebrate after getting clapped all game, you freaking moron. Of course you are. Shit ass community, dude. Shana just passes the ball almost out of bounds. And into the last 30 minutes now. Vieira. Wonderful ball. Right. Instead of passing it to the top of the box there to Politano, who's in a clear space to make a play. <clears throat> I hate people who celebrate shitty goals. I think for me, I just hate FIFA players. That's hilarious because I've obviously I am a FIFA player. So I'm I'm well aware of how dumb that is. Who can they pick out? What? Davies. Now with Vieira. Really clever pressing. I can't. I can't. I just can't with this game. What the fuck is this gameplay? Look at this! I can't get this assist with Nanto, man. It's going to make me lose another game. I'm just forcing the ball here, man. Fuck's sake. No way. How did Ronaldo just miss? 14 shots to two. I am so happy I'm going on vacation. I am... So happy I'm going on vacation. I am so 
So happy I'm going on vacation. Oh my god, dude. I am so happy I'm going on vacation. How is Schneider the only one scoring in this team, dude? What is going on? Big Sam might have to come back in the team full time, man. I don't know what they've done to my Ronaldo, dude. He's been nerfed. What was that touch? Ball rolling to space and he literally takes a touch like he's a bronze. Ah, oh, fuck off, Lloris, you shitbag. No shot. What? Ober That's a team of the year Oberdorf with three players to pass to and she played it out of bounds. What have they done to this game, man? An Evo showdown? So did I need to win by two goals, right? Wait, I have two assists. I spent the last two games forcing assists with Nanto and I already got them. Well, that's infuriating. Gotta get. I don't like this Politano at all. Not impressed by that card. Come 
Morgan, that's a W. Congrats on the Schneids. Congrats. Madsen's been fun. I think I like Alfonso Davies more at left back. Hey, it's the same guy. I'm just playing the same guy again. Wow. Here we go. Another 100 tackle attempts. Another 100 tackle attempts. Ah, hey. He's probably loading up the stream again had me up the first time and then he probably closed the stream because he got what he wanted but now he's like oh wait i got him again let's go unreal same guy within 20 minutes hey man Chris, thank you for the reset, man. Scooter, thank you for the 13. Much love, brother. And this confrontation is underway. Okay. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, it's a very attractive lineup. 4-2-4. Four, two, four. two wingers and two center forwards. We don't see that very often. But to be effective, the two... No shot. What the fuck was that pass? Otherwise, they just won't get enough of the ball. He heard us criticizing him on his tackle spam. I, I cannot believe that his player just made a tackle there. And here is the starting 11 for the old boys. Petr Cech stands between the posts. Wesley Snyder starts alongside Patrick Vieira in the engine room. And the story of attack is one of a strike partnership. And that is going to be a free kick. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Snyder... <laughs> Schneider just Zidane Hugo Lloris. Wow, the delay is unbelievable. Snyder. Return to Snyder. Look at this press. Look at this four man press. How do you get that many people pressing? Rio Ferdinand. And on to Gino La. Cristiano Ronaldo. And it's teed up for Ronaldo. Nicely saved. Sloppy there, Bernardo Silva. Well, he's certainly not alone. What the fuck was that touch by Schneider, man? I am, I am just in disbelief at how bad this game is. That was a pass aimed up at Ginola. Dude, Rio, why did you leave such a huge gap? Oh my God, Rio just my Rio, my AI Rio just stepped completely out of position for no reason. Ah, dude, get me off of this garbage. And anyone wants to know why I don't play this game? I, 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 I mean, that was not the pass I made. Oh my goodness. Foul. What the fuck is going on? Tackle. 
Ginola. Ronaldo. I don't know why there's so much delay, man. I can't dribble. I can't do anything. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. What the fuck is this, man? Vieira just stepped completely out of position. Hullet completely out of position. Unbelievable. Jonathan Close. Patrick Guijarro. Now she could do a bit of damage. I'm trying to be Vieira, man. What is that? Over, just lacking precision. Well, the stats tell you everything. The chances have been few and far between, and they haven't tested the goalkeeper anywhere near enough. If they want to get something from this game, they're going to have to improve in the final four. I'm struggling even to just get hold of the ball here. Let's come off the Dude. keeper. What? Well, nothing comes of it. Nice tackle. Options in the middle. It's a perfect challenge. And so it is. The first half story has been written. Do I use creative runs? No, bro. I do not. So back underway here into the second half. Wait. Oh yeah, there's the ref. I was gonna say, where the hell's the ref? Foul there. Free kick awarded. Ronaldo. You can't dribble in this shit game, man. Schneider. This is looking threatening. Just I love making a tackle and having the ball bounce positively for my opponent. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave him. Oh, hang on, Stewart, it's a chance. The ball just bounced off Alfonso Davies. Literally, the ball just bounced off Alfonso Davies' heel. For no reason other than for me to give up possession there. What a ball by Ronaldo. Jesus. There's 
Spider receives a pass and then has a seizure. I make a tackle, of course it bounces back to my opponent. I make another interception, of course it bounces back to my opponent. I make another interception, of course it goes through Kimmy. Uh, by the way, with his chem style, Jorginho Ruter has 97 shooting. And he just missed that. 97 shooting. And he just missed that. And does well to keep it in play. And the referee blows for a foul. He did well to cut it out. Dude, what is... Oh my god, I'm so happy to go on vacation. I Monster. hate this game. Very quick thinking there. Side. Unreal. And Fonzie, dude. So disappointing. So, so, so disappointing. Hitting me with that double bounce back. The cross is on. Oh, cleared away. Superb defending. Massive credit. Wesley Snyder. Dude, what, like, what? Is Wesley Snyder okay, man? I fucking hate this game. Look at this, man. Look at that! He's like a bronze! Oh my god, he finally settled the pass. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. What to like about that pass? I hate this fucked game. I literally hate it. It's so delayed. Madsen. Snuffed out right back to him. <laughs> oh, great vision. Players waiting in the center. Well, it looked promising, but the keeper taking command of the center. I believe I lost to this absolute shite player. My God. He has teammates around him. Snyder. Great opportunity. Can you believe I lost to this guy? Imagine he just disconnected me too. Good news. Um, one more game qualifies us. Win or lose, which is a W.
a lot less tackles this game. Well, we called him out on it, right? So he decided to uh, to tone down the tackle attempts. You could see it. Uh, my tactics are 60 depth, 50 width, possession in attack, balanced everywhere else. That's it. No specific instructions. Amen. I just use L1 Amen. or R1 a Pretty lot. Much quit a this game, welcome what is a but perfect day to watch here. football. I'm going Thank you, Georgie. I don't blame you, man. This is a uh, very poor game. Oh, that Broby looks like a crazy, crazy, crazy card. Dude, wow! The how do I not win the ball there? Here's the lineup for the old boys. Yeah, it looks to be a 4-4-2, and you'd expect the two strikers to... Insane press. Insane the press. Combine, and the wide midfielders, they'll get forward to provide crosses for them both. Okay, how is that not attack? How is that not a fucking foul? Oh my god, man. Get me off this game, please. as fullbacks, and they're playing with two strikers in attack. How does Ronaldo not just how, how, how does poor Schneider not score that man? Did you just see Jorginho Ruter there? Refused to turn and face the net. They've done something to the game, man, over the last three, four weeks. They've just jacked up the delay and the RNG. Thank you, Yuppie. We'll be disappointed at being what? Oh, I thought he was quitting. Man, why is Alfonso Davies so bad in the midfield now? He seems like the only place you can use him is at left back. Jesus. Jordan Bayer. Wipers moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? But not the end result they wanted from an encouraging position. I have no idea who has the ball. This is fucked. Really nicely played. What can they do with this now? Chance to deliver into the box. Ronaldo! What? Saved and held on to as well. Viper's struggling to keep the ball. Oh my god. Snyder. On to Cristiano Ronaldo. Foul. Cafu's holding me in my back. Position to cut out the pass. What is going on? How does Vandersar recover so well there? And the ball comes in. He's hit the ball. This has been a really strong performance, hasn't it? They've created lots of chances. This time it's unlucky not to go in, but I still think there's more goals in this. 
Kimmich. Ginola. Pushing ever closer to goal here. And it's on now. And that's a great bit of... <laughs> Nice. Like, just bottles it with Broby there. I go in for a tackle and Broby phases through the tackle. Like it's nothing. And the Vipers have given it away. Good tackle results in a throw in. Now can he get the crossing? Real opportunity. And the keeper more than equal to it. Corner is fired in, and that one is got away. And it's a wild, wild <clears throat> attempt. I don't know. We went for glory there. Oh, it's a poor choice. He's got other options on. Why is he shooting from that sort of distance? Good work from all boys to win it back. Bro, play it into the space, you moron. Dude, get me off this shite game, man. This guy should be like 5 nothing down. How have I hit the post so much, man? Enjoying gameplay with a full past and present Barca and Nottingham Timothy. Forest team. David Ginola. What a pass. Perfectly anticipated. Really well won. I want to just delete this, man. From my memory, this game. Looking to put the cross in. Genuine chance. Davis. And further clear they go. There's surely no throwing this one away. Was red and the ball has changed hands. Oh, great work. What's next? Picks out a teammate. Schneider. What an AI block, man. What a joke. It's going to be it for the first 45 minutes. Four point nine expected goals. I barely just made it three nothing. Oh, this guy's really sticking around. Got to give it to him, boys. Got to give it to him. Anyone want to take a wild bet that this guy's first shot on target is a goal? First shot of the game, probably on, uh, is going to be a goal. Something about this Ronaldo doesn't feel right anymore. I don't know what the hell it is. Marcos Llorente. Now delayed. I don't know what it is. 
Hard to describe. Maybe just dumb gameplay causing it. Nice. Look at that press, man. Look at that triple press the second I got the ball. Tapu. Lorente now. The old boys with the ball again. Ah, oh, it's my fault, man. What am I doing? Ball rolling there when the AI is high pressing. So stupid of me. Look at this. Vieira. Good ball in behind. And the forward focus continues with a good ball. Crucial defending. I hate how people can just run into your back in this game, man, and just suffer zero, zero consequences. This is insane. What is that? My fourth post of the game. Nice tackle. Just kidding. Have the ball anyways. Nice tackle. Trying to be too cheeky. That would have been sick, though. Sometimes you got to go for it, man. Just hey, have man. some fun with this game. That would have been cool, though. Archie Gray to Georgie Ruter. Hopefully, we see that more in real life. You're done now, bro. No, no, never mind. He's back. Nice, Archie. Hard work brings reward in winning back possession. What a chance! Another goal! And the Love that. Day supporters dream of and will savor for a long, long time. Love that. Excellent okay. reading of the game to win the ball. Nice tackle, just kidding. Nice tackle, just kidding. Good idea. Almost, almost. Delict covered that, but that was almost a great pass from Archie. Christian Gunter. Wesley Snyder. I don't know why that wasn't a better through ball, but. That's Tiki Taka. That's Tiki Taka. Um, um, um. Wow, he actually moved Vandersar to cover the near post shot there. That's wild. <laughs> I tried to green time that. Oh, 
Almost. The last whistle here, and the hosts have really nice tackle. Just kidding. Have the ball anyways. Nice interception. Just kidding. Oh, what an opportunity this is. Nice block. Just kidding. Have the shot anyways. My game just glitched there when I was trying to make that pass. And that. That's a, I wouldn't say that's a great advantage at all, to be fair. Nice re. Nice Archie. Ah, my fault. Wow. Samueli Ricci. GG. Easy. The final whistle. A huge result today. And with that, they're through to the Champions Finals. So the cameras are affixed to Cristiano Ronaldo. Another exceptional performance. One shot. To his long, long list. Across 90 minutes. Yeah, all smiles as he goes to grab the match ball. He just has far too much for the opposition. They really couldn't contain him today. Gray is cracked. I, I love Archie Gray in this game. So stupid, I have not been able to upgrade him since October. I've had the same Archie Gray for four months. All right. Um, so, try and get our six wins tonight before we leave. But a uh, couple of positives there. I think that's Nanto done. So at least he's finished up. Still a bang average card uh, at best. Oh, I need to do him in... I need to do him now. Oh, no. No. I actually have to play another game? Guys, I have to play another game. What a horrible, 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 horrible thing this is. No. My day is ruined. Look at all these right backs I have. Just make sure we're set. That was everything else was good, right? Oh, actually, let's do, um, there we go. Any Helldivers? I think me and Nep are going to be playing Helldivers. I was meant to play um, Tarkov with Geeks, but I don't think I'm going to be able to make it happen, man. Oh, it's been confirmed. Cancelled, Steph. Yeah, yeah. Alright, perfect. Okay, well, so is Tarky dead? Uh, no? Who said Tarky's dead? Nah, hell no. Who said Tarky's dead? Not at all. At least not in my opinion. Is the epi finished? Nope. We are we're still here. Let 
We are still here. I need to play one more game with Ailing, so I can't end the epi until I get that game. I don't remember if it said I need to win or not, though. Yeah, I, um... We've got at least half an hour left of the grind. Thought it Tarky replacing Helldivers? I'm behind Oof. Helldivers replacing Tarky? No. I mean, even if I play another game for a couple of days, it doesn't mean another game is dead. Uh, either, either way. Alright, let's do the PP. Here we go. This is where we'll, we'll get Wesley Schneider before we go on vacation. Okay. Am I excited for college football? No. No, it's not uh, not something I pay too too much attention to. Even though my brother is in col the college football world right now, I just don't pay attention to it. Real. Yikes. Never mind. Now, we're in the SBC section, so while we're here, we might as well do a couple of peepees, right, guys? What school does he go to again? That's great. I don't, uh, he, he doesn't want me talking about that stuff. When he's done and out, uh, with it all, we can talk about it, but for the time being, he kind of wants to remain anonymous doing his own thing. I do, I do wonder what EA have planned for the college game, though. That's a casual 4 million fluffy. Congrats on the Dembele, dude. GG's. GG's, my bro. Yeah, a lot of a lot of my North American buddies are really, really amped up about the college football game. Well, it's been 10 years since they've even been able to have a college football game, right? So, I don't blame them for being happy. It's like if we didn't get Ultimate Team for uh, FIFA or F Soccer Ultimate hey, Team, call it, for 10 Let's years. Go, Nick. Just got to see my Roma Coke shithouse Brighton. What a fucking game and what a manager Da Rossi is for us. Hope you enjoy your vacation, Nikki Poo. Forza Roma. Much love, Savior. Savior, and I, I know that obviously De Rossi, Tutti, etc. are absolute legends of the, uh, of, uh, 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 of the club, right? So I know that there's some love there for it. Do you feel like there's a bit of a honeymoon period with what's going on with De Rossi replacing Mourinho? Do you, do you think that love and that obsession and happiness with the team is going to last all year? And I, and I do hope it does. I just wonder from an outsider's point of view. Or is, is De Rossi legit playing good football, or is it... I mean, hey, they're scoring. They're doing way... Scoring way more than uh, they used to under Mourinho, that's for sure. Hopefully it lasts. Yeah. Yeah. 
Is Totti uh, in football coaching in any way? Only loss has been inter. Ah. Nice, Azul. Good for you. Happy for you, man. That's awesome. I haven't eaten anything today yet. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm gonna have my oats. I'm really excited for Helldivers, man. I'm really amped up for it. It was fun yesterday, trying to figure things out. Would it be bad if I went on a bit early uh, while I was waiting for Nep? Got a, got a, maybe, I mean, it wouldn't be too bad, right? I don't know how I would play with randoms, though, but... Uh, I'm not I'm not saying where I'm going on vacation, Jackal. Sorry, bro. I'll, I'll talk about it when I get back, though. I'll, I'll give you guys the full details of, of everything when I get back. Maybe Spain, maybe... Por it's somewhere warm, whether it's Spain or Portugal or... Or Mexico or Hawaii or Cali or whatever Lebanon or it's somewhere or the Bahamas or whatevs somewhere nice and toasty well Japan is freezing cold my dad is in Japan right now uh, traveling Japan for a month Greece yeah Jamaica yeah oh my god Going to Japan in a month. From everything I've heard, from all my family members that have been there, and even my dad, it is everything you could ever imagine it would be. So I've heard. From uh, all the first-hand experiences. I think, I think what makes Japan so great is the people as well. Going to Bournemouth? <laughs> imagine. I mean, they're, they're, they're to hang out with Nep and go hang out at the beaches? Maybe. Brother, what a bad set of packs we've had over the last hour, hey? Different kind of beaches, closer to batches. Alright, let's do the final PP at least. Just trade a bunch of 84s for an 85. Come on, give me a Wesley Schneider. Give me a Wesley Schneider for my vacation. Need one more 83 in there. If you and that went to the beach and wore, what's that? Smugglers? Look like you were hiding your Tic Tacs? You mean our baby corns? It'd be so cold, right? Dude, De Rossi, when he was a footballer and even as a manager now, looks like a modern day gladiator. It's so fitting that he's a Roma legend. Oh, there's the 900th Virgil I packed. Why, like, can I ask why whenever he's a special, I can't do it? I mean, what did I miss? His in, his second inform I missed by a day? He was a, he was a 91 rated second inform as of yesterday. Yeah, I missed him by a day. Come on, man. Like, I can, f my whole life, I just can't pack. I think actually once we packed a team of the season, Virgil. Once on the road to glory.
Yeah, the market price is probably what made him impossible to pack. Do I think the Showdown series cards will be behind the power curve? Uh, probably. And then if they win their respective games, they will then be partially in the meta. Or in the power curve is usually what EA does, right? So it could be a very boring event. But it might not be either. All right, let's do an 84 by 5. Wow. What? I don't understand that. Why? Why? Why didn't his flares not show up? Anyways, to the exchange. To the exchange we go. Gotta say it louder. You say it louder in my mouth. What? Uh, I might just discard that 84. Honestly, I don't even want to deal with it right now. I don't even have informs. There's nowhere really to put that 84 anyways. Another 84 by 5? Might have to... Just a bunch of 84s. <laughs> uh, Alright, 83 by 10 will be better. Surely, right? Wow. Nope. Can confirm it was not better. What am I meant to do with all of this, man? Yeah, but these aren't even the good exchange packs. 85s are just so dead. Yeah, maybe we would do the team of the week PP. I think you guys are I think you guys are right about that one. Yeah, I I, I should do the team of the week PP instead of these uh, exchanges. Much love, taxpayer. Here we go. Oh yeah, I didn't swap around any of the uh, 83s. The rest can be 82s. Down this dead music, too. This should work. Yeah. And we'll just do the pee pee now, right? I sit here and wait and be dumb and silly. Let's go. Let's just do the pee pee immediately. Maybe we'll get a Virgil in, in, uh, in the pee pee. Possible. Am I playing five squad battles tonight for an Evo I'll never use? I mean, you could play online gameplay. Both are not that fun. I'm doing it just to get Ailing out of the way. I feel like I'll regret just not, like, just going off on our vacation and um, and not getting him done. So, I'm going to do it. And tonight, I'm going to get my champs games in. Because, again, I'll really be annoyed with myself if I didn't just get five wins in champs this week to get that red uh, Schneider.
Thanks, one plus one. Appreciate appreciate the kind words, man. I, I'm really looking forward to the time away. Well, that's horrible. Set of picks. Ain't coming back to FC24 till team of the season. Well, I mean that might be a good thing. That's that's I don't think that's a that's a bad idea at all. I'm not saying Rosero. Keeping it secret, man. We'll uh we'll cover the vacation when I get back. Not that I think I'm famous to the point where people will show up at the the nude beach I'm gonna be at or anything like that, right? Chat's gonna be in bushes taking pictures of my bush. No. But kind of just so like my wife and kids can enjoy just the the complete anonymity of not having to worry about any like anything like that, right? Yeah, some some cheeky bush. If I was going somewhere by myself, I'd I'd happily tell you guys, right? But when you got the whole extended family, I don't want anyone to be. And, and and honestly, I truly believe nothing would happen. But just for peace of mind, better that way. Okay, okay. PP's paying out a bit more. Which time do you leave? Also probably not going to talk about what time I'm leaving or anything like that. Um, we leave tomorrow. I've seen so many weirdos do weird stuff with content creators taking flights at certain times and calling in all the, this weird like stuff to try and get the flights cancelled and people are odd, man. Not saying that you are, Kibby, but again. Being in this world, you gotta be a bit a uh, bit more careful. I, I, I've been swatted once. And that's more than enough. I, I, I'm not looking to have anything, have to deal with anything like that ever again. It's just not worth. Be specific. I'll be specific again when we get back. Fill you guys in on the the flight and and how things go and which you're going to end the stream. I mean, oh, I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It depends on uh, on my, me and Nep's Hell Divers experience. How much fun we're having. I mean, I've, I've partially pre-packed, so that's ready to go. Obviously help the kids get figured out and, and, and help the the organizing of the luggage and whatnot. Take my money! Take my money! Take my bank card! How did you like the game yesterday? I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I mean, it, it doesn't give me the PvP first-person shooter. Oh my, I almost went with uh, uh, Kingsley. Nice, another exchange player. 
Yeah, it doesn't give me the Tarky grind feel, but it's a different game. That's kind of what's nice is it's just a different vibe altogether. It's great. How many sets of underpants am I taking on vacation? What are these questions? Uh, just for the for the amount of time we're staying. Cause we're staying for whatever whatever it is, eight days or whatever. So probably nine. I, I think maybe go with nine sets of undies. But I feel like I'd probably be wearing swim swim shorts most of it. I don't wear underwear in my swim shorts, obviously. No extras. Well, I'm not planning to shit my pants in any way. What if the trunks fall off at the nude beach? Well, they'd be, they're gonna be off no matter what. It's its a nude beach. I wear long underwear with my swim shorts. Sounds like something Sway would do. Have I been to a nude beach? Oh, yeah. There's some old pictures, I think, from mine and Steph's honeymoon of me at a nude beach in Jamaica. I mean, obviously, we we, uh, we sent it to family and stuff like that, so it's obviously not a frontal picture. It's a... It's a... Uh, a, a, a butt picture, but nevertheless, still pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah, Bottas vibes before Bottas did it, exactly. I'm so sorry. Exactly. Pask, thank you for the raid, brother. Appreciate that, man. Thank you, my dude. What do you mean with nude beach? Uh uh as in a beach where you're your business hangs about all over the place, and usually it's just full of old men. Nude beaches are basically just a place for old dudes to walk around with their... their nuts looking like their brass balls hanging in socks. Basically all a nude beach is, really. It's not what you'd think it is, unfortunately. Yeah. Dudes playing hacky sack, but not with hacky sacks, just with their nuts. Yeah, unfortunately. It's never what you think or want it to be. Hey, man. No probs, much love, Nick. Thank you, Pask. Much love to you, man. You still on that ultimate team grind, bro? hanging to make sure they don't overheat hog central baby corn central more like way more likely for baby corn central all right let's go get this game with ailing man the next uh the next forex exchange we got to do We'll go, uh, we'll go play, oh my god, this is our final 77 by 3. We finally got through the 150 of them. Micro Peen City, yeah. Yep. Am I a Drake fan? How could I not be, dude? Especially now.
Lin Lindstrom gets it. Do you like Eminem? Yes. Yeah, I do. Ever get caught looking at another man's junk at the beach? I mean, what else are you supposed to do? Pretty normal. All right, 84 by five, erupt. Schneid's time. No? That's a dupe Modric, unfortunately. God help me. Oh, okay. To the exchange, Bernardo, Luca, and uh, Willie Orban. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Oh God, that that image, Paul. That image, dude. Am I excited to show off my chiseled bot at the beach? Well, to be fair, I've kind of gone through a winter bulk, so I've put on a little bit, uh, a little bit, uh, uh, mass, if you will. So the abs aren't quite there, but we're bigger now, so that's going to be fun. I'm definitely not cut, though, because we kind of booked this trip out of nowhere. Just booked it last week, just as a surprise. We're like, man, let's just go. Let's just go. So... I definitely haven't been able to do my uh, summer cut, which I'm planning to try and get back to chiseled, as chiseled as possible, but have that probably by June. So June, July, August, we can uh, we can be walking around with some chiseledness. So we're more of our fluffy self, which is fine though. That's life, man. I'm not gonna be building muscle if I'm concerned about staying ultra lean. It's just not possible. Or way harder at least. Not to mention, it's kind of nice being able to eat extra calories. So I'm going to enjoy the vacation with the family, and then probably actually when we get back, then I'm going to have to reorganize my uh, my diet a bit. All right, let's claim our rewards. Just go with the untradeables. Okay. Is it a win? No, right? It's just a game played, fi the, the final game for uh, Ailing. Yeah, uh, had drugs on uh, on the YouTube side of things. I will be playing with Nepo. Yeah, Hell Divers. Lindstrom will cover uh, will cover where I'm going and all that stuff uh, when we get back. I hope it's just a game played. I can't. I don't even remember really at this point. Well, hello to you and welcome to another. Or democracy with Nepo. Yep. Well, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to load up and and just England's upgrade my character a little bit before. So I can be more helpful, because me and Nep were just getting our asses kicked last night. Wow, that's a cool team. Yeah, it's a huge game for them, and they've worked so hard to get here, and they absolutely deserve it. They played some really good stuff this season. They look so confident as well. I think they're going to do it. Here's the lineup for Internacional. Alisson is in goal. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Sebastian Cuartes. Oh, this is like real life ailing. For this one to play with two in attack. This is the visitors team for today. Ronaldo, man, like again. Oh my god, this is actually like using real life ailing. He's so bad. Hey, I've clicked pass about 5 times there. Oh, 
Oh, that's dirty. That extra pass from Wesley Schneider is exactly what you want from your cam. What a beauty. Archie. It's cooking. It's cooking. Starboy Archie. Two goals from DM. Hopefully he gets that tomorrow. Wait, into the space, man. What? Why is that passed at the center back? Out of play <laughs> maybe just a lapse in concentration. Jorginho Ruta. Tackle through our back. Never a good time. I just tackled through his back to be fair. Good tackle. The tackle. It'll be a throw. Ruta. Georgie just not making the pass. And that's nicely won to see off the threat. No time to dwell on the so ball. So much delay. Nice, Chris. GG. Bill! Archie for the hat trick! Oh! Archie Gray! Wow! And away we go again at 4 0 now. Love that. The tunnel gets louder. On to Casimiro. Bill! Yes! That's where it ends with possession lost. Ginola. Ronaldo. Too much. Oh god. Oh god, that's 60 pace. Oh god, Bill! Archie. Play continues as the ref lets that go. Lovely ball. Now what can they do with it? Excellent work from the keeper to deny a promising looking attack. It's put into the middle. Ah. Oh. Unlucky. Oh no, we missed it! Geek, don't hate us, dude! No! We missed gaming with Geek today. Oh, brother. I'm all messed up on my schedule, bro, because we're going on vacation tomorrow. Thank you so much for the raid. Chad, as we said, that's who we were supposed to be gaming Tarky with today, but Geek's on a... Uh, an actual wild schedule to be fair considering he lives in my time zone um that's my geeks on my fifa schedule early morning grind i love it thank you man i'm sorry that uh, i i miss gaming with you brother we're gonna have to absolutely play when i get back from vacation i'm just all over the shop right now how did it go i caught a couple of your uh, your morning raids i saw you on four survives i believe uh before i had to fire up my own stream Which I think we play very different styles in Tarkov. I'm a psychomaniac, aggressive player, so I think playing with you would probably uh, get me a bit better at the game, to be fair. Oh, Schneid's unlucky. Spawns are broken. The worst, man. I don't know why they're so against giving us just random out spawns. I mean, every once in a while you get a lucky spawn where, let's say, you spawn in resort, let's say, at Shoreline. Maybe that's not the best idea, but... I don't know, man. They got to figure out spawns. Spawns, spawns. I think, should be RNG and not dedicated spots. Because to, to wait five minutes to get into a raid with a sick loadout... 
Jesus, Lord have mercy. Rossi gifting us up to Geeks. Let's go. Thank you, Rossi. Oh, that was dirty. Um, and to wait like five minutes with a god loadout and then to just die within 30 seconds because the dude spawns behind you and knows exactly where you are is just so ass. I don't know, man. Like, is there is there something to be said about maybe just having completely random spawns? Just complete RNG. I mean, they could maybe use some uh, some AI. Let's twat this. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't think there's anything. Imagine just having random spawns. One of them's in dorms. Um, I imagine spawning in, uh, in streets, like, in Caban's spot, and freaking Caban's there, and you're, you're fighting for your life within 10 seconds. <laughs> At least that's a little bit more fun than fighting or getting tapped in the back of the head because you spawned in that death zone in Shoreline, where you spawn in between four different teams in the open. I think there's a few things that would make Tarkov better. Number one... I genuinely think that scavs, player scavs, should not be able to spawn into the game until the last 10 or 15 minutes of the game. Maybe the last 15 minutes on big maps, 10 minutes on smaller maps. Uh, I think, personally, random spawns in random maps for scavs also would be better. So you cannot pick the time of day or the, the map that you go on. I think it would make scabbing a lot more random, a lot more fun. A lot of people would say, yeah, but that's not fair to people trying to learn the game and I, they, you, you, you can use scabs to learn the game. Tarkov is meant to be savage. If you want to learn the game, you go in at a specific time you want as a PMC with a pistol or something and you learn the game like that. You know, it might take you 100 raids instead of just learning it cheesily via scabbing, but I think those things are, 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 are big improvements. Obviously, dealing with cheaters and hackers is uh, is the most important thing, too. Um, but a a another thing that would be amazing is random random spawns, for sure. I mean, they got to get rid of this whole RMT crap, too. This found in raid trash, I think, is um, a bit garbage. Oh! Unlucky. What a shot. I do like the, the, the few changes and shifts they've started to make with actual quests. Like, the fact that uh, capturing outposts is now in uh, in Resort is dope. Bro, capturing outposts is the dumbest thing ever for the longest time. When all those off, I think. Why not have maps in game? Well, I mean, I like the savagery of the game of having to learn the map. Like, the fact that it took me about 100 street raids this wipe to learn streets... Um, I haven't had that feeling in a long time. The, the, the loading into game and just not knowing anything. Obviously, like, as old school Tarkov players, uh, we haven't had that feeling in a long time. Archie Gray. He may be 16. Oh, I was gonna say, but he's calm as a cucumber. Oh, well. Unlucky. It's more my fault than This guy's really still just sweating his nuts off, hey? I respect it. Why not, right? Maybe he knows who he's playing, so. And that's where it ends with possession lost. A chance now for a quick transition. Look at that Schneider pass, man. That was a one and a half bar green timed lob through ball. With with someone that has ninety something finishing, and I think he has the soft chip shot trait. And he just killed a grandma in the stands. What on earth? They can't go any further here. Offside. But it doesn't help casuals. You and I have the time to do 100 raids. Casual player, which games revolve around. Not the hardcore player. Doesn't like and needs help. True. But I mean, isn't the whole point of Tarkov meant to be a hardcore game? I mean, inherently, hardcore games are not casual friendly. I mean, I think that's the thing that Tarkov needs and Battlestate needs to decide with the game. Is it a hardcore game, or is it a game where they're trying to get lots of people to play it, and lots of casuals to play it, right? Oh man! Do I watch the Canucks or Raptors hoops? I'm from Vancouver, so the Raptors can eat shit. I'm a Vancouver Grizzlies fan for the rest of my life, man. 
Um, how the NBA screwed us out of a franchise, I'll never forgive them for. The NBA is a fraudulent garbage organization, but anyways. Um, so I'm absolutely not a Raptors fan. Uh, and I'm, uh, yeah, I'm a lifelong childhood Vancouver Canucks fan. And I'm 39 years old, so guess what I got to experience? <laughs> I got to experience 94 and 2010. Amazing. So great. Uh, but if I'm honest, I haven't really followed the Canucks like crazy in the last five years. I've just had too much going on in my life. Which is obviously now they're cooking. Knowing where you are on a map doesn't take away from the hardcoreness of the game? Um, I don't know. I mean, I kind of disagree. I think being thrust into a map in Tarkov and having that just... That experience of everything being overwhelming and uh, you not knowing where anything is. I don't know. I, I, I kind of love it. I kind of love it. But I get it. I mean, I, I don't know. I think we have to have that conversation of... Are there things in Tarkov that could be added to make the experience better? Understanding that at the end of the day, it is still a video game. And yes, we want it to be hardcore. And yes, we want it to be savage. But are there certain things that would just help expand the overall um, play of the game? And sure, map people understanding where they are on the map, or noobs understanding where they are on the map. I mean, you could have maybe something too where you're up to level 15. You kind of show you you show up on the map. Maybe up to level 15, there's like a dynamic map that's there, and once you break level 15, it goes away. I don't know. Or maybe your first 50 raids on each map, it, it shows up. Maybe uh, after 50 raids on each map, it it goes away. And it's just... But again, you got to understand, like, Battle State is very much about the lore of the game. And it's, it's like people asking for kill cams. Kill cams would at least let you understand a lot more when you die to hackers. But they have to add it to the lore. You can't just have a COD kill cam in a game like Escape from Tarkov. So imagine what could be cool is having a security system that you add into your hideout that gives you a body cam over time or gives you access to cameras like street cameras in the map that you can just organically see how you die, but it's something that you add to your hideout down the road. So that would fit the lore. How would they fit the lore into the lore of the game of you seeing yourself on the map? I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe like new recruits are tracked by the government or by, uh, by the group, the the labs, the like terror group or something. I, I'm sure they could figure out a way to add it to the lore. Yeah. I think I think Vancouver is getting another NBA team. I don't know when, but I think that's. I think we're up next, aren't we? On the. Uh... International have it back. 1% of the player base cares about lore. I know, I think, I mean, but but again, you're talking about the foundations of the game. That's like saying 1% of the player base cares about the foundations of the game. I mean, whether or not one or one or zero players care about the foundations of the game, I mean, it is the foundation of the game, no? I don't know. I mean, do we just want the, uh, Tarkov to just become another, every other game? That's, that's kind of what I'm saying. I do, I do get, though, that It'd be nice if they could figure out how to get more people to play the game. It would be nice. A really good interception to take the ball. Oh, excellent work from the keeper to deny a promising looking attack. They opt to go short with the corner. Archie. Oh, baby. Oh, almost a beautiful pass. Great game. Wow, I smashed this guy 7 0. Let's go. Hey, man. The learning curve alone, curve alone will push. The, 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 that, that's, I suppose, what I'm getting at is, is Tarkov on every level is such a difficult game that the majority of the gaming community won't ever even bother picking up the game because it's just too much. Okay, someone can see themselves on the map now. 
but now they've got to learn the this very detailed healing mechanics the very detailed gun building and gunplay mechanics and ammo mechanics and there's so many things that kind of are stumbling blocks to casuals starting to play tarkov that that's what i mean i think just adding that that one thing i don't know if it's going to change anything really May, I, 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 again, I don't claim to have the answer to everything. I, I guess this is just more of a uh, an interesting discussion point. Okay, we got Ailing done at least, boys. That's good. Ailing is ready to roll. I as well want a, 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 a great game too. And it'd be nice to have more people playing. For sure. What a still such a horribly bad card. All right. The good news there is we got all of our... Um, items finished so the next likely upgrade when i come back from vacation on this team is gonna be uh probably shackleton at right back i have to spend 100k on his upgrade but making him an 87 or 80 rated super right back is gonna be pretty fun a chat for the first time we play absolutely yeah 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 i'm, I'm very uh very 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 excited about it take it easy man so well i i i really 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 Really, really want to get some games when I get back from vacation, man. It's just, th this week has been such a mess. Um, so my apologies, man. I would have been ready to go in about half an hour, but I'm going to make sure I'm on early enough where we can get games uh, before you end your day. Much love, dude. All right, speaking of ending the day, let's end the, uh, let's, let's end the, uh, the grind. Let's end the grind so we can jump on to either Tarky or Helldivers. Yeah, unlucky MJ. What a great card that is, too. My little brother got into UBC. Um, not much to say, man. I uh, I didn't go to UBC. I don't I don't have too much to say about it. I've got a lot of my cousins and and brothers and family members and whatnot that uh, that have gone and are going there currently, but. Uh, I think it's just like any other college campus. I mean, getting out there is pretty annoying, depending on where you live. Vancouver's a horrible city to travel in. Drivers are out of their mind lunatics. Transport system is a disaster. Will I have cheat days on vacation? I don't really do cheat days, man. I kind of just eat what I want within reason. Yeah, I've kind of moved away from the whole concept of cheat days. I think they're really bad for you anyways. Might as well just live your life, live a healthy life. And if you want to indulge in a couple of things, just be cognizant, aware of what you're putting in your body and uh, and enjoy it. But, I mean, don't make it a regular, a regular habit, that's for sure. Is that another dupe? Wow. Okay. Interesting. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see, man. If something looks tasty, I think I plan on eating it. I think that's going to be my uh, my rule. Oh yeah, we're going to the exchange, guys. Let's go. Damn, this has been a long foot grind today. I didn't, didn't plan this out. Normally, I'd be on Tarkov for the last hour and a half. It's a rule I follow daily, and that's okay, man. I mean, if you're happy and and whatever, then then more more power to you, dude. I lived most of my life being a glutton, and uh, my health just took an absolute fall off a cliff three years ago. So I had to make a change, man. Otherwise, I was just gonna go through another five or ten years of pain and maybe die early, which is uh, is a problem in my family with unhealthy living and eating. Take my money. Take my money, take my bank card. I didn't want to do that hey, to my Ron kids. Hey, Coleman, 28T. Long time, dude. Looking good. Hope you and the family are well, dude. Thanks, Hassa. Thanks, bro. Yeah, we are, brother. We are. Did I do the exchange or did I totally forget about the exchange? I did it. Wow. I'm yapping so much, I forgot I even did what I had to do there. 
Thanks, Hassa. Appreciate the 300, man. If a viewer sees you on vacation and unpants you, what's your first reaction? Probably slapping them in the face with little Billy Bob. I don't know. No way, dude. There's no way. Brother, I thought I just hit Mbappe for a second time before leaving on vacation. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Out of a 4x pack? That would have been crazy. I was ready, but then you, if you don't see the turbo, uh, what do you call that? Playstyle plus or whatever? I got Mbappe from an 81. <laughs> I thought we were getting him again. Oh no. I'm getting duped. Uh... Man, I just don't even want to deal with the 84 right now, guys. Does that make me a bad person? I suppose we could do go do a quick um, inform. Uh... Okay, Lasomer. Let, let's go do an inform pack. Let's go do an inform pick here, see what we can get out of it. I don't want to be that lazy, it just lets EA win. If I'm wasting club assets like that, it'd just be stupid. Um. Oh, I didn't swap her. Oh, man. Well, that's annoying. Where is she playing? The Women's French League, right? Yeah, there she is. I have four pages of informs. Need a Katoto now? True. Yeah, I mean, the Mbappe striker pull is kind of ruined because now I know that if, as the gold card shows up, if there isn't that, whatever you call it, the, the playstyle plus, before that, I, I would get baited. But I mean, the game's been out for six months, so if I get baited by that again, that would still be my fault. It'd be stupidity to the extreme. It'd be stupidity to the extreme. There we go. I packed 27 Fabinho's, no joke. Oh, I believe it. I, I mean, I don't keep track of the random pulls, but I'm sure I'm up there too. All right, we'll get an 85, 43s, some 82s, and then we'll get another inform pack. Um, feels disgusting having a 1.6 million coin player on the bench. I mean, yeah, on PC, Mbappe is like 2.3 million or something, but I'd rather just use different original players, personally. I would much rather use some fun cards. Whether it's uh, Willy Nanto, who's very not good, or Second Inform Somerville, or that uh, Triple Threat Ginola, or th these types of players. And then if I'm really in trouble, we bring on Mbappe at uh, near the end of the game to try and pull out a win. I'm just not overly interested in using only the meta. I mean, I have Ronaldo in the team. I, I feel like no... Is Ronaldo even the meta? I don't think... I've I can count on one hand how many Ronaldos I've come up against anyways. I don't even think Ronaldo counts as the meta. God damn, how bad are these packs? Oh, there you go. X leads player, I guess. Not that I would ever use them. How much is he on the market? Uh, well, PC is different. I don't know. I don't know how much he is. Pros aren't even using his team of the year. Yeah, there you go. You're one of five people to have packed his winter wild card. True. It's a rare card, which is also why I feel like I need to use him too. I mean, not only is he the goat or one of the goats at least. I just wish I could pack a Messi or something to go alongside. I'm not upset about using Georgie Ruter instead of Messi, but it'd be nice to have Messi and Ronaldo back together again. Do, 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 do. Oh. I got the Saudi GP to watch on vacation as well. The Leeds game. 
wonder if there'll be a, a TV to be able to watch that somewhere on the beach. Dude, my family's gonna be like, bro, are you okay, man? We're, all, we're, we're in paradise and you're still just watching leads. I'm be like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. We have this tequila on the rocks in my speedo. No, that's another Duke for the love of God. To the exchange, from the exchange. Oh, double exchange. Okay, hold on a second. Um. <laughs> nice. That's awesome, Steph. I need to eat something, guys. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. What am I doing, man? Um. All right, let's do let's do an exchange, and then we'll open the final pack to call it here. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta end this FIFA stuff so I can uh, mentally prepare for this lovely vacation. Uh, exchange, right? Go eighty-seven. Who are Milan playing? Okay, Steve-O goes into a pack. That looks exactly like Steve-O. A young Steve-O. Base Garincha or Cantona from the PP? Cantona, brother. Grinch sucks. Cantona's still a beast. And not to mention, it's Cantona. Alright. What do we want to open as the last uh, pack before we go on vacation, boys? I think I got like an 86 pack, don't I? Ooh, ooh, okay. 86 by three, 84 by 20, or 87 by four. What is the final pack to get Wesley Schneider here before we go on vacation? What do you guys think? Should we do the 87 by four to call it or the 84 by 20? What one would you rather, I'm not doing all of them because I just, uh, it just means I have to spend another 20 minutes dealing with dupes. I don't want to deal with that. Okay, 87 by 4, 84 by 20, or none of them are the options. Okay, I'll tell you what, because you guys are still hanging out and being awesome. If there's something good in this 87 by 3, we'll open the 84 by 20. How about that? 87 by 4. Okay? If it's crap, I'm ending it. Yeah? All right, here we go. Thank you for watching. God bless. It's an inform. I don't know who this could be. That's already kind of disappointing. Man. That's so ass for an 87 by 4. I mean, if you're a Celtic fan, you're erupting, of course. Maybe we got a dangler? He's 2.9 million coins! Well, that's a hell of a player to get on our freaking trip. On the day before our trip. Oh my god. He's 2.9 million. Well, good news. A, we go to the exchange. And B, we will open the 84 by 20 to finish. Oh my god. 3 million coin player packed. Has he gotten an upgrade yet, guys? Jacko isn't even here to see it. Oh, he's going to be so upset by this. Damn, and I'm not going to be able to use him. Oh, maybe I'll use him in my champs games tonight, actually. Bro, he's got a tech playstyle and a quick step. I think I'm taking Ginola out of the team. I might actually use this guy in our main squad. With an engine. Because that 81 balance is kind of weird. Dude. Why would he not walk out? Can anyone tell me why this type of a card was replaced with this walkout and this walkout? Like, what is wrong with these idiots at EA? A 3 million coin card doesn't walk out, but a discard 88 and a discard 88 do. No upgrades yet either. So very realistically, this could be a 94 rated card. 
in the next couple of weeks. Because EA no City are winning. This is uh, an 87 by 4. That I think we got. I don't even know where I got it from. Objectives of some sort, I think. Maybe season objectives? He's been scoring too? Wait, so has... there? He definitely got an upgrade. If he scored already, he needs a goal in four games, two wins in four, three appearances, and 11 goals. I, honestly, they should be getting a four. A, a boost of four here. Yeah, he's 2.9 mil. Damn near 3 mil on PC. That is insane. All right, let's throw uh, Bernardo into the exchange, and then we'll uh, we'll do that 84 by 20. Hey, deal's a deal, guys. Deal is a deal. Damn, that's crazy. Uh, exchange, exchange, exchange. Here we go. 11 goals ain't happening? You don't think so? Well, I guess they're, yeah, their second game is against City. That's true. But Liverpool got goals in them, no? I mean, yeah, again, likely to not play against, uh, to not win against City either, really. Watch them beat them 6-0 or something. Well, now I'm cheering on for Liverpool against City, I guess, this weekend, guys. I'm hoping they batter City. Could easily get 93. I want a 94, Diaz, dude. That's what I want, selfishly. All right. Here we go, guys. 84 by 20. Come on. I mean... I'm already excited to go off on vacation and come back and use Diaz. That's hilarious, even though we just played the worst gameplay ever all day today. Nevertheless, I am a glutton for punishment, so I can't wait to get back and get back on this grind. I love you guys. I appreciate you all. Um, hopefully, I have some fun, fun Speedo pictures of myself to show you guys when I get back. We'll catch you on the flip side. God bless you. I forgot. What a freaking anticlimactic pack. <laughs> forgot that I had to deal with the dupe. And scene again. We'll catch you guys on the flip side. God bless. Come on. Well, that's another do. Okay. There could be a dangler here too. Don't forget. 87, Luca. Followed by an 89, Morgan. All going to the exchange, by the way. And are we ready? Are we ready to erupt? Oh, that's so dead. What the heck? 85 and then an 89 and then 85s. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe there's a dangler. Come on, give me a Declan Rice so Nep can be mad. Man, I can't deal with all those dupes, bro. I'm gonna just go on vacation. That's so terrible. On that bombshell, we'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.